start the Lichondra, I guess. Don't know if this one will be uh, Sith Mana or not. Might have to update the title if I don't go with Sith Mana. That's so, that's so sad, because I, I had like, uh, I think it was like 70% fail on the Rhyme Plague or whatever. That wasn't really there, but... At least making some progress. Alright, let's put on Dagger or whatever, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, although... I am having to do some melee attacks here. Hey, second level, alright. So I can get the Searing Ray. Do the starter and conjurer stuff again. Hopefully not uh, underestimating slow this time round. Oh, you just said good luck as well. Yep, but... Uh, oh, it looked like I might have needed a bit of luck with my... Uh, silly underestimating being slowed. No, I did not get luck that time round. Uh, do I? No, I don't want a Guardian Spirit. Oh, that's a shame. Alright. Get some intelligence, of course. Uh, it's not really enough magic, is it? Oh, just enough magic? I can go grab these gloves and check out the... Oh, wait, of course. Gloves don't work. I'm an Aldi. I can check out the Faded Aldi, though. It's an unknown god, it's either Fetters, you're Del or Ashen Zari. I mean, Ashen Zari's not bad. Oh, what's going on here? Huh? Did I not exit out the altar properly? I don't know, whatever was happening, I wasn't able to move there for a little while. Might have just been a tiny bit of lag or something. Irradiate's good, my last character could have done with some Irradiate to deal with things next to me. Alright, well, that was kind of their main drawback, because they didn't have a way of killing things next to them. They also didn't work very good against cold enemies, they were right, but it was their doom. A cold enemy next to them. Alright. Oh, I just need a magic dart that guy, there we go. I don't know, maybe I could have tried like a searing flame a little bit earlier or something. I don't really want to open wrath. That sounds that sounds like frenzy, does it? Or is that a different one? Are you clipped with a eight headed hydra G because fair enough? Right. The URLs for the like Twitch clips are so weird. Why is it thankful suave locust stuff? Yeah, those got like random words in them. Uh, I think I'm done with that level. Let's just go down. I wonder if anyone's like got a sentence out of those like Twitch URLs so that actually makes sense. It'd be fairly unlikely, I think, with random words, but there's also a lot of clips on Twitch. It's gonna happen at some stage, right? Alright. Gozag. Hmm. Gozag's fine. What's his altar? Oh, Sif Mater as well? The Hubert Eurodel Del Neblex. I have Hubert's good, but like, I don't know. Um I don't know, dodge level 3. I should probably grab one of these gods. I'll surf body to go downstairs. Gozag was there? Right. That's Rue as well. I don't think I'll grab Rue. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh. Are you gonna like for a bit there? Yeah, well, hopefully this character gets, uh, gets somewhere. Are they going to Searing Flame? Not quite. I think one of those missed. Oh, I hate this. Just managed to live, but not a great situation. You could cause fear, single biting. None of the new spells. I don't know. I think I'll hold off on the god for a little bit longer, although this one leads to Sif, doesn't it? No, it leads to somewhere else. Oh, man. Got Mephitic Cloud, I don't think I need Silence or Dazzling Flash. 
I don't know, I've really struggled to uh, get anywhere in Dazzling Flash when I've tried it before. But it used to be any, like Conjure or Sad about, but I'm not sure if it is anymore. Um Oh phone reports is around 30%. How's the radiate going? 67%? Gotta set some targets on these things, I think. And I'll probably start the alchemy soon. But the day someone will spell the first potions is an alchemy one, so like that's nice, I guess. If I'm gonna be caught reaching Alchemy, I don't want Okawaru. I mean, they wouldn't be, they just wouldn't be helpful, but they would be, uh, I guess it'd be a slight, it'd hurt the character slightly, I guess. They won't be able to summon things in anymore. No, they're not predominantly a summoner or anything. Oh, gotta be one closer. I was like, I need, I guess the staff could be good. It's the staff called. It's the only last character had. Didn't help them against the simulacrum, though. So, God, take it out. Oh, that was an able to regen. Wasn't that was useful, at least. Everyone can use regen, I suppose. But everyone needs health. Oh, I certainly can't think of a character that would need health. Uh oh, where am I going? Dungeon level 6. I just got downstairs. So it was almost like being chopped at two levels. What's that? Not quite. Alright. Slings just resist negative, right? That's three decks, that should be fine to leave. Uh oh. It's an Oni versus an Ogre. Thank you, uh, yep, the Oni won. <laughs> of course I won. Uh... Gosh, any decent spells in here that I'm thinking of getting later on? I mean, maybe the four minute prism. Uh, yeah, I might grab that one. Um, uh, Mystic Blast, alright. I'll grab the Aradia, like, right now, even if it's 50% failure. Right, well, there's an Ogre down there, so okay, so I'll take another one, but... Nothing like the previous Ogres I fought, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm like searing rag whole columns of guys because you don't always get to do that. Right. Could have tried to pull the center and maybe a little bit closer. Mm, I don't know if it would have really mattered though. It would have just uh, allowed me to, well, not take its rage attacks. Once I just chopped the wrong spot, that's awkward. Especially since I have no magic points now, but that's fine. I got 60 something health, so no one can't like one shot me. It would have to do, I think, like two really good rolls or something to take me out. That's not too bad. Uh, got Okuaru Trog, don't matter. Zen now. I don't think it goes Zen. <laughs> I'm not a huge Zen fan. So many restrictions on spells, on, I don't know, on everything. Hey, there we go, it's a temple. Might go grab Heavenly Aquana, that sounds like a bunch of fun to me. I can at least hide behind my ancestor. That's what my last character needed with their permafrost eruption. <laughs> Uh, what? Get me out of here. Don't, don't be stuck in the temple. Alright, come on, book have a new spell for me. Now, take all the ones I've tried at the higher level ones. It's got Magna Vault. That's a uh, there, is it? I'm Conjuration. It's neither of those, unfortunately. Oh, I'm gonna stop you of Conjuration. Ah, uh, it doesn't even help. Guess it helps with the phone of Prism and the Irradiate. Those are on their way. Right, let's get some alchemy, actually. 
If I need it for the phone and friends, but I need it for the radiant, so like I totally should. What was the phone and friends anyway? C? Oh yeah. See, see, oh, there's the humor there. That was another choice to go for this character. I seem to remember the phone person being relatively like okay with this magic efficiency, but it is quite noisy. Hmm, I should be able to blow this guy up. Oh, it's too late, isn't it? If I had a miscast there, I would have been able to kill the guy, I think, but mm, not with a miscast. Did I kill that guy? I don't know if I did. Nah, no, still alive. Um... <laughs> Sad to question what spot to put it. I don't know if that actually did much. I did blow up, at least it didn't blow up in a large area, so it might be broken early or something. Alright, well, get the intelligence. Keep the spells going. 9% fail in the form of prism. It's going down uh, and failing at a decent rate. Blow all these guys up with... I, mean, I guess I'm effectively throwing bombs at these guys. Uh, that seemed like a very alchemist thing to do. Not that I started as an alchemist, funny enough. It just ended up going that way. Hey, a bookshop could be good. I gotta take that for new spells. Alright, what have you got? Bookshop, we got... Oh, manuals. Armor, earth magic. I mean, maybe some earth magic, maybe some necromancy. We'll see what spell skills I end up picking up. Currently, I'm not needing those. Apart from maybe the earth, if I get the magna vault again or something. Oh, well, there's the frogs. I definitely made enough noise to attract those. Oh, hey, my ancestors here. Actually, because I think Hepzik quite a light when I explore, so a little bit of ex exploration. Yeah, I got my ancestor. A Viatol, the ancestor. Oh, yeah. Oh. I can't cast my spells, they're all just failing on me. Alright, good, my ancestor's back. Did I get a ring or something? What did I get? I don't know. I've got a ring of flight, I think. Might just put that one on. Um, I've got a ring of fire. That's probably the right thing to put on when I'm fighting a steam dragon. Because then I can just stand in the fire without any problems. Oh, yeah. I don't think it works quite as well for my head sister, but whatever. It's kind of funny how we can just like blow up my answers as much as I like, but it makes sense because they are immune to basically everything I do. I think the only thing- oh! Plus 11 gold dragon scales with 3 willpower on it. Doesn't have harm, but it's got minus 4 strength. Hold up. Am I still a spellcaster? <laughs> um, it's 2,000 gold, so like I can't afford it. Um... I just get a bit of fighting. Um, I gotta think about that. It's really expensive, but also, like, that's pretty good. And my god doesn't necessarily lean towards spellcasting. Like, Captain Aquan is just a god that you can go with. I don't know. That's... Was... That's some reasonably ridiculous armor if I can get it going. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of tempted. I mean, it's not going to help me with, uh, getting my... Oh, whoops. Just let my answers deal with it. It's not going to help me with, like, getting new spells, because that's going to be really, real strong if I want to get any sort of spells going with that sort of armor, but I think it's... I do think... I still think it's worth wearing. 
Maybe we can just get myself a giant spike club or something. Um. You know, I'm just gonna get more fighting. I can always do more fighting, it's really cheap as an Oni. I think my answer's gonna, yep, blow up. Basically, as soon as that Orca heads it, I mean, there's a giant spike club if I want one. Mm, I'm also out of magic points, I might just go to the staircase. Also, I'm out of bad so, so, so get my answers back in the staircase as well. Those spiked? Oh, this uh, giant. They'll that one spiked. Um, oh, I forgot to identify my stuff. All right, let's quickly identify some stuff. Well, let's sell some scrolls, I think. So, got um, amnesia, vulnerability, fear, blinking. Noise, Immolation, Vulnerability, oh, I'll do some more. Poison, I should do some potions as well, actually. Curing, Cancellation, and Haste. Alright, well, it's a good selection of stuff. Yeah, I really left my, um, identifying quite late there. Mm. Oh, let's pull this guy back a little bit. There we go. Trying to find somewhere to put it in my uh, phone in prison, but I wasn't seeing it. There's a shield there if I don't use a giant spike club. Um, which is not necessarily something I have to use. You know what I'm doing, Elder Scroll? See what I get enchanted up? I might have something. I got a little robe of nothing. That's not worth using. There's no robes worth using. I mean, I guess it's, uh, why it's worth saving up for the gold dragon now, but. I still like 1,600 gold away from getting that, so I'm like ages away. Um, that's probably not the right staircase anymore. So all the courageous can be like, oh, my instance, I can do a, be a knight, a battle major, a hexa. You know what? I'm going to turn them into a battle major or a knight. I'm going to go with a battle mage. There we go. Cast a spell, what are they casting? Either the throw frost or the stone arrow. I mean, currently they're kind of doing the one doing the tanking, but I think that's going to swap around when I get some better armor. Alright. Plenty of gods like this metal, so they don't need right now. Oh, it's one of these, uh, Marukuda guys. That summons more of itself than it hurts. Currently targeting my ancestor, sure. It's got, does that have much health? Um, oh, it summoned it right next to me? I wonder if the illusion one also summons more and you just get a whole entire swarm really quick. I don't know all these scrolls, it might be a bit silly, but it's, hey, it's teleport. Something died in here, probably just one of the wolves. Wait, the plus one animal skin. Now, you hardly ever get to use animal skins, but that's actually better than what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm so used to like not even seeing good animal skins. I almost forgot I can actually wear it at the moment. Uh, okay, oh, we're gonna have to stay out of the blast radius, sure. Oh, it's Lodal. Um, it's fine. Oh, I didn't take him out, that's a shame. I got pretty close. He's still wounded, though, so that's a good sign. Oh, yep. He's dead, but I need to... Heal up or something. More oak warriors, alright. 
Should I be able to blow it up out of sight? That's a funny thing about the formative prism. It does things that you can't see as long as the uh, explosion radius gets them. Oh, a trove? Um, I'll see what that one has to offer. It wants me to give it plus three shadow dragon scales. I mean, I'm not going to need the enchant armor with that armor that's coming up, but we'll see. Right, so I can now identify myself, uh, resistance potion. All right. Does this character have enough mana for all? I know it's like seventh level, so it's not like easy to cast. I'm not seeing it on that list. Did I even, I don't even think I've seen shops that sell it. All right. Maybe we can get into throwing. Are there any large rocks? There's all stones. Oh, there's more boomerangs. You know what? I might just go grab all the boomerangs. Uh... Hey, I got my lowdown money. Excellent. I've got 800 gold now. Pretty much doubled my amount of gold, I think. That's now the Spike Club, but unfortunately that one's also like not in charge or anything. Uh yeah, Travis does it good. <sighs> Thought I might be able to pull it back into the form of prism. There we go. Just by stepping back a bit. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It's kind of a bit mixed. I'm still using a sub conjuration, right? So I don't need to Go pick up a secondary one of those. Mm. Yeah, I failed to like wake something up alone, so I walked into the prison on its own. Because often they end up just because the initial cast of the prison is like not that noisy. I think I leave that for now. Uh there's Oddy Chen's ghost. Are they an Oddy? Hey, they are. They're an Oddy Ice Elementalist of Chebriados. A fellow Oddy. I mean, they got a lot of health, of course, being an Oddy. And we've got Wog's ghost. A uh, Coglin Gladiator of Gozag. Are they do Venom? Oh, they're probably not as bad as the Oddy, though. <laughs> I feel like that Oddy's a bit tougher. A little health. That's hard to tell because sometimes the Oddy's are because they aren't that good. Like, mine is only four. Now swap places with my ancestor in theory. I haven't got the invocations yet, so probably not really. Okay. Fighting's looking good. Um I don't know what sort of weapon I want to get, but I'm gonna get like eight throwing. Cause I got a few boomerangs. Oh, can I do it like a I don't think I can do it like an entirely throwing character, because that would be really fun, but I think I'd run out of uh, things to throw around, large rocks or whatever. I don't even think I've got a large rock just yet. Kind of a shame. Alright, can I identify... I don't know, all these girls, I guess I'm a jump weapon. <laughs> uh, just get them on a chart of a big club or something. I still want to like try and keep to some sort of spell casting, which is why I'm... Not really sure what to get. Who's got Ice Blast? I think I've got the... No. Don't have the cold resist, but my ancestor is up the front. Uh, where did he go? Are we still there? Did I even get him with the explosion? I don't know. Hey, that got him. Okay, so he's got his Ice Blast. He's got his cloak. I don't think I've got a cloak. Uh, might just go and chart this one. All right, that's excellent. Almost nine hundred gold. Uh -huh. Oh, what's ah? Round of mushroom. That's actually a bit of a problem because I let these guys get rather close to me.
There should be nothing stopping me from just going to the staircase or whatever. Or not. <laughs> Getting my answers back there works just as well as going up the staircase and doing the same thing. Oh, I hope we're not gonna die to two ice guys in a row. I don't think so though. I think this is fine. These won't merge, but I got my answers out the front, so as long as my answers are still alive, I can keep on sitting here. Oh, well. I didn't quite kill the slime creatures, unfortunately. Uh, got a magical power ring. You know, that's probably more useful than the flight ring, to be perfectly honest. Especially since I'm like an Oni, and Oni are quite big, so they can swim um, in shallow water anyway. Or I guess just wade through or whatever they do. Alright, well, dungeon level 11 done. Um, I really should go to the lab, but I was hoping for some large rocks. Oh, there's heat about me? I don't know if I gotta resist that one. Also, there's a lot of guys. Okay. It's almost dead. There we go, blew it up, but there's another guy down here, I think, unfortunately. Or maybe not. I don't know. I thought it was another black man, but it was just everything else, apparently, in terms of snakes. It's hard to think of, like, this explosion is not safe to walk in, because I keep see my answers to, like, it all the time and be like, Oh yeah, that's perfectly safe, but no, it's a, it would totally blow me off if I went in my own explosion. <laughs> Just my answers is protected. Uh, I don't know if that guy got into a good spot to be blown up there. Alright, well, throwing's looking pretty good. Ah, uh, sure, I'll get some base of flails. I should probably get some armor skills at some stage as well, but like, I'm not even that close to, uh, wait, it's not it, to be able to fall armor. I've got 970 gold, I need like, what, 2,100 or whatever it is. 2,125. I mean, maybe the Orcish Mines will have some of that, but it's still a lot to get. Oh, he missed his cast, it doesn't matter, I'll just head back to the staircase. Yeah, just let my answers to deal with these guys that are coming along. Oh, there's still, still more snakes. Alright, there we go, now I can get up. Oh, there's still that impressive me, it's quick rubble, all oh, very distant. I'll try the revelation so it's complete opposite side. I don't think I got any magic region or anything, which isn't ideal. Alright. Say the way down the side here, I think that's quicker than trying to go close to the center. Rapid rumble. Oh, it's across these guys. Uh Oh There we go, now I can get into here. Uh did it collapse not yet? I hopefully can drop something before I go in. Please don't collapse on me. Uh, I don't need the dags or the guardian spirit. It's not collapsed yet, I can go in, but I need my magic points back. Can I get some fire inside, like, one ring of fire here, which I can take off the evasion, I guess, because I kind of do need my magic points. It's not like this character can just channel in more or nothing. they gotta got to make do with what they've got.
Was a little oak here. Not quite the oak mines yet, but I'm still finding some tough oaks, apparently. I mean, it's just one of those sorcerers, so at least it takes good damage from my foaming prisms. Oh, there's a little red devil. Oh, uh, hey, son, dear, but I'll put my... I want to get my magic back. I'll put my answers out the front when I actually get to fighting it. Also, this robe of fire just makes a lot of sense, because I just got the pulse on animal skin. Well, it looks kind of nice. The whole blue color that got going on here. There we go. So, David dealt with, uh, who summoned these dudes? Ah, oh, the statue. Oh, I need to be one closer just to get out the... Orbs, um, I hope that, I don't think that's, no, nothing can get to me. It might be dead now. Yeah, it's dead. All right. I just went, uh, and all the demons turned to smoke. It's like, yeah, it's got to be dead, right? Okay, so we got some attraction. What else have we got in here? We've got another identify. I just got to do another one of these scrolls, even if there's something. Can't be many unidentified scrolls left. So we got Acquirement, Branding, Fog, Silence, Torment. I won't waste one of those. It could be uh, something actually useful. Great Mace of Flaming. How much does that do? 29 damage, 1.3 attack delay. Compared with this one of 35 damage, 1.4 attack delay. Right. It does have flaming on it though. It has a bad likes of flaming. How does a bad likes of flaming do? 24 damage, 1.4 attack delay. So it's probably not that good at killing Hydras, unfortunately. There's also a whip of flaming and a trident. No, I don't think I'll worry about those ones. I should probably swap around some rings or something, because I prefer to get minus fire in this right now. I'd be better off having, uh, evasion. Not minus fire resist, minus gold resist, fire resist is perfectly fine. Okay, just got more summoning, that's all good. How's the money going though? About halfway there. Oh, the Staff of Fire? I mean, that's more fire resist. I think Card Rage is probably the right thing to have. Although, Staff of Alchemy would uh, be nice as well. Because I am currently using the Formative Prisms, which are in fact Alchemy. I remember these used to be like Hexes, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but... I guess at the time you didn't really have a spell school that made sense, because, like, you couldn't really make the poison or something. Uh... I don't know, transmutation didn't quite make sense. What is it? Oh, acquirements, okay. So I got some malignification and some might. Well, I might as well check out the acquirements. So, ooh, that ring looks interesting. Resist poison flight, resist negative. Oh, there's a hat of Dex. Oh, there's a sub me. I don't have a hat on right now, but Dex is not that important. So... Or 600 gold. <laughs> 600 gold poison resist actually is that important to pick up 600 gold, because then I'd only be like... Three or four hundred gold shots? That's how much do I need? Uh, I need an extra a thousand gold. Yeah, it'd only be like four hundred gold short if I grab that and use the equipment for money. I might just have to turn this equipment to the money, to be perfectly honest. Um, the stuff on is like okay, but I think it's better as money. I guess I can put my, there we go, full imprisonment there. Let's get one topping them up. Oh, Mason Flail is 10, that's not bad. I just get, uh, I don't know, I just get fighting. <laughs> Wait, I think I've already got the fighting title, but hey, let's get more. <laughs> oh, actually, I know what I should be getting. I should be getting armor skill. I should get up to like uh, 15, that might be too much. But I'll, I'll start with the armor skill, because that's going to make a huge difference once I get the gold dragon armor on. I should be able to do definitely by the end of the Walkish Mind, if not beforehand. Um. If 
Unfortunately, that wasp is heading straight towards me. Actually, that's not too bad. I had even got distracted like last minute by my ancestors. Apparently, they're more of a threat. Was all of the destruction fireball? Okay. I mean, fireball would be a sensible thing to get if I was gonna not put on heavy armor. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go heavy armor and just bash people up with I don't know exactly what yet. I got a magic regen emblem? What am I wearing? Regen? Huh. Huh. Hmm. Magic regen almost kind of makes sense right now. Oh, what? Can yeah, you die? Alright. 300 gold, I think, is what I need. The guy that shows all the way out of the branch this time rounding. Oh, don't know yet. Guess I've still got last three to go to to find out what my other one is. Um, I'll, I'll not bring these guys up. Probably pull something else up here as well. What? Why not? That... Am I attacking? I'm attacking below one attack delay on this weapon because I I noticed my formative prism does explode after two attacks. Not that I think this weapon does a whole lot, but I got a little bit of conjuration skill, so that does help it out with its damage. Let my ancestors deal with that guy. It's gonna, it's gonna be bad than trying to waste all my magic points on forward and prisons that are probably not gonna hit anyway because the frogs are blinking around. Probably have to get like a folded prism on either side of that guy. I don't know if that would have worked or not because one of them didn't even get a chance because the uh, guy just died too quick. Uh, da -da -da, right. 200 more, I think, gold to go. Oh, there's Manifold Assault. That's, uh, that's the eventual plan, but it is a 7th level spell that I'm going to be trying to cast in, um, Gold Dragon Armor. So, you know, eventual plan. Oh, really? Catching up to me? That's not quite right. I should probably blow this guy up. Really avoiding away, blowing up by pushing me back. Okay, I see how it is. Oh. Uh, I'll spider this again. Oh, that's, a, mm, that's not my favorite one. But at least I'll have most of the resists I need in the spider this, I guess. All right. Drain nearby creatures. Unfortunately, I can't really do the idealize. It's like 60% failure. Oh, plus three cloak of minus two strength, but it does get two end. Sif Martyr's envy? I mean, Sif Martyr would definitely approve of this cloak, I think. With this whole boosting of end. Uh, gotta put it on. It's a little sad with the strength, but whatever. It's definitely more protective than no cloak, right? Or a plus one cloak, even. Check on the body again. Ooh. Huh? Give me the body. Um, uh, like, uh, what am I? Like a hundred gold shot or something. I got a cannonade and bombard. I really don't think I'm going to get those spells going, but maybe. We'll see. I'm not a... Not a mountain dwarf or something. Oh, hey, I can go into here. Uh, do I need... I don't need... Um, I don't need two magic point rings, I don't think. I don't think I got the strength right now. 
I think I go with the noise. He might shot with it though, I guess. Um Four inventory slots. I might drop the bat no, I keep the bat legs. I'm mm, Might as go in. See, oh god, and he has to go to Phantom Mirror. In theory, I could do both sides of this if the creatures are weak enough by using some tricks with my ancestor. Oh, Gravitamarine, yes, please. Um. Okay. Sure. Um. I don't want to find that in Quark's egg, so. They might just leave the Quark's egg. I can go in here. Oh, don't blow up my ancestor. Uh, kind of getting trapped in the corner here, which could be a bit of a problem. Hey, there we go. Go rid of it. So I got my Phantom Mirror. Come on, get my ancestor pack. I think I'm going to need that one. So in theory, I can do both sides, but again, there's a Quang's egg up here, which I don't think I'm worried about. I think I'll just take the other side. Um... There we go, got a grab a tambourine, which is pretty nice. I think I just take this bottom level, yeah. Oh, I really can't idealize, can I? That would be a great time to idealize. Can I grab a tambourine these dudes back to... No. I can't really grab a tambourine them very effectively. Uh, I can grab a tambourine, okay, they kind of grab tambourines, those guys. Excellent, the ring is poison resist, resist corrosion, but minus five intelligence. Uh, we'll see about that, whether I want to get that or not. Anyway, next level, I guess, or next piece of level. Tempest and failure to radiate. <laughs> well, not for long, because I'm going to get the dragon armor very soon. Okay. What do I do against this guy with his javelins? I pull it just a little bit closer. That's pretty close. Man, I wish I could idealize my ancestor. Oh, it's got a spectral little shot on. Sure. Um. The plan. I quite irradiate it from where I am. I just mystic blast it. Ugh, I get my own minotaur. Okay, I mean, I guess I just blast it. Alright. Did the trick, so it's got some good old uh, javelins that I want. Don't really need the spectral shots on. I mean, it's good shots on, but I think I'll not worry about it. I'll check out whatever else it's got. It's got a dance in this puzzle. I can't carry them right now. Positive energy robe. Hat. Oh, that hat looks good. Hat of willpower. Um, what am I wearing on my head? Like nothing or something? So I can drop. I should have brought all these stars in here. Why did I bring all the stars in here? All right. Well, I might drop the stuff of. Fire? I don't think I'll be getting into fire magic. Alright, what's my rope right now? It's a rope of fire. This is a better rope of fire than this, like, right here. So I can swap those out, at least. Hey, it's even a fire one. Um, a red one. Oh, man, it's so close to the money. Let's just get out of here, though, I think. Okay, so I might just get behind the ancestor. So there we go. I mean, the other guy's already dead by the time I get behind there. Oh, where's the elephant god? I don't know what it was trying to do there, because it probably, oh, I'll probably ran away because I didn't know how exactly how to get to me. Like, sometimes they'll do that if there's, like, plants vaguely between you and them. They'll just, like, run. Oh, that's way too much stuff. Um, <sighs> hmm. 
Oh, Travis so doesn't do it anywhere near as much as I'd like. Try throwing some ice blasts, but I'm not sure it's going to be the most effective. Okay, well, I took out something. Now I've just got to, I guess, Quicksilver? They kind of lined up for just something, at least. Um... That's my Mystic Blast. This has got a little bit of magic points left. Oh, you know what? This last guy can just irradiate. Keep on taking on the money. Oh, it's, uh, it's so close. I need like 20 more gold. Can't be that hard to make 20 gold, right? Surely. Okay, it's so close. Ten more gold. Oh, I think I just did it. I got enough money now. Uh, go grab the armor. It's gonna stop me casting my spells, I imagine. I mean, maybe the magic dart will still be there, but probably even that one won't be. Gold dragon scales with plasticity? Some kind of weird name, but sure. I'm not gonna have much strength, which is gonna be a bit of a problem. Um... Oh, sure, let's put these on. See how it looks. Oh, can't carry them. I can drop the staff of cold. Yeah, the evasion is like completely gone. Yeah, the spells are gone. Um, how do I get some more strength? What am I wearing right now? Like a uh, magic points or something. I can probably put on this ring of strength. Um, set of magic points. Probably don't need the faith either. That's. I know that rings resist corrosion, but I don't think it's that important. I mean, I guess the strength is okay as well. Anyway, let's put it on the strength ring. Got a little bit of my evasion back. Magic dance still not even castable. Uh, let's bring out the giant spike club. Um, I might just drop an enchantment on this one to see if I can get it all good. Oh, where's my head sister anyway? Oh, there they are. Yeah, this is kind of a hard pivot of what this character's doing, but... Well, what can I say? It's... What's my throwing stuff? There we go, boomerangs. Anything else? Not yet, I don't think. Alright. I think I can fly out just uh, walk back manually to the staircase. Alright, so we got, oh, so many acid blobs in there, that would get me corroded to death. Okay, how am I resist? I'm missing resist electric, but I can't one of everything else and my willpower is like maxed out, apparently. Alright then. Yeah, that's the thing about this armor, it wasn't just like a set of gold dragon armor, it was a set of gold dragon armor that had resist on it. Uh, like, ones that gold dragon armor doesn't usually have. Alright, so, so there we go, it's shooting a few spells through me. Unfortunately, they don't like shoot their spells all the time. Sometimes they rely on their weapon, which is not perfect when I'm up the front or anything. I should be able to be petrified, I've got so much willpower right now. Man, I don't think this answer is surviving very well. Maybe I should have knighted them or something instead of turning them to a battle mage. Alright, well, God, is this the ending to the lair? Must be, because I'm on level 5. It's uh, definitely, I think it's just like a classic foresty forest. Ooh. I just get out of here. <laughs> Looks like my ancestors are uh, doing a really good job of holding them back so as I get out of here. Okay, so many spriggans. If I just go down another staircase, I might be able to split up some of these spriggans. Uh, gotta get rid of the fog art. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty scary though when I tell you, like, oh, hey, I have some dream sheep. Like, ah. Uh... I want to be paralyzed, because they can still put me to sleep even if with willpower, because it doesn't even target that. I'm pretty sure that's how it works anyway.
All right, what am I even training? Still doing the armor, which I guess makes a lot of sense. Oh no, the bug has running away. I can get it with a Wonder Quicksilver, I guess. I don't think I have much skill with the Wonder Quicksilver though, so... It's not perfect. It's only 60% to hit. Oh yeah, my page has gone up to 4, that's making some progress. I think what I really need for that is strength though, but I, the armor skill should help a little bit. Um, Bandogas never really get it, or Oni never really get a ton of evasion, so it probably doesn't matter that I, that's reduced a bit. Alright, well, time for dungeon. I did dungeon level 11, right? So I guess dungeon level 12. Hey, Francis. Spend herself up. Well, that firing squad's too much, I'm gonna go down somewhere else. Not the escape hatch, though. Uh, well, these guys are just a little bit close, I guess this is fine. This is kind of wanting to be on the staircase, but whatever. Uh... Oh, I got sped up. That's a convenient timing for that chaos to speed me up. Guess I'll just keep on fighting here. Yeah, the, the, the trick. I can drop. Might drop the Great Mace. I know they all looked alright, but I don't think the Giant Spike Club. Actually, I do need to brand this Giant Spike Club, but I do think it's the way to go. Hey, Oryx, she's got some silver javelins for me. Not too bad, I might just get my answers back, though. There we go, five silver javelins to add to my throwing list. I'm surprised I haven't found any of large rocks yet. Oh, I've got a ghost, I've got engine V8 ghost, an octopus enchanter Rue. Man, imagine trying to get an octopus enchanter working. I mean, I guess they didn't. <laughs> Otherwise, they wouldn't be seeing their ghost on the ground. Um, Yeah, that's a really tough one. I don't think I can be petrified or anything, so I just gotta try and survive here. Alright, I can identify Ambrosia. She'll send me into like a drunken rage or something. Uh, I don't have much money, but there's teleports here, there's revelations here, there's poison here, the identify here. I don't know, there's plenty of stuff. How am I going with identifying? I got most of my stuff identified. There's a few odds and ends that haven't been identified. In fact, Branding's one of the ones I'm missing though. Oh, hey, I wrote church. She can't banish me, but. Mm. She's going invisible. Oh, there we go. Send her, send her with the teleport travel. Just trying to get her on the road. Hopefully, I will find her on the road. Do you want to be with just with some other group of creatures or whatever? Uh, what was my other ring? Evasion. Would it make sense to just buff out the strength again? Let's go check this out. So, I currently do 37 damage. I have 4 evasion. If I swap this out, I have 2 evasion. So I only lose like 2 evasion and I go up to 42 damage. I think that's not bad. Alright, let's go bash this guy. And I might have something to enchant. Let's see. I've got. No, no, not really. Drop the shield for now. Um, yeah, apparently everything's just enchanted up already. Alright, I think it's time to go fight the orcs. I have a frost in the orcish mines again? Uh. Right. I mean, I'll try. Don't know exactly where it's coming from. Oh, there it is. That's, that's easy to get to. That doesn't require me to go down to the second level or anything. Um, I don't need the amnesia anymore, I don't think, because they're not really doing much in the way of spellcasting. Yeah, that's only one slot. I need a staff of conjuration. Okay, what else can I drop? I don't know. I think that's just gonna have to do. I guess more ice resistance. I don't think I can. 
I broke it or dropped that ring of fire. Um, elephant simulacrum. They're going to throw some boomerangs at them just to make sure that they don't uh, get up to me and do tons of damage. Oh. Just retreat up, ancestor. Don't want to run to the center there with all the statues, so I'm ready for that. All right. I like the ones that just kind of let you run up to the statues. Those are definitely nice. Uh, do I want strength or do I want intelligence? I might just get some strength, but intelligence could also work. If I try to get, like, a man of fallen sword eventually. All right. I can charm my weapon, I guess. Hey, this is like the same sort of vice game that I've had like today. This must be a common one or something, but it could be guarded by different guys at the end because I think it's a random out of a number of different things. Alright, uh, go on the side passage here and clear this one out. Looks like you just got the final room full of guys. A reaper, alright. Not too bad. It's guarding some Sega Trooper's Embrace. Which I keep on forgetting that it's leather armor instead of like, uh, skin. It always feels like it's some sort of skin or something, but no. So I can't actually even use it with this character. I don't think there's anything useful in here. Stop calls the negatively enchanted scythe. That was really not much. Hey, more boomerangs, right? 12 boomerangs, that's doing pretty well. I love this little edge when it's guarded just by like basic orcs. It's like the it's like going down to Vault 5 except with basic orcs instead of Vault Guards. I have to think about going up here. I might go up and clear this out. That's distortion. Alright, I see. I might just stand back if it's got distortion because I don't. There's like nothing forcing me to go up to it. Um, I need my answers back, I think. Alright, Avo did pretty well. I don't think I'll get any for a little while. I'll get some more fighting. I'll get that to like 22 or something. And I'll get some mason of flails up to like, I don't know, it's 20 too much. i go with 20. But, um, yeah, I think that's too much. Hold up. I might just stop it on, uh, 15. And then I'll probably continue with both the armor and the mason of flails. Just because of how effective this armor is when you've got the gold dragon armor. I know the base of flail is good, because unless we attack a bit faster, I'm still 1.2 attack delay, which is not at all great. I was one of these little, like, uh, clubs that lines up perfectly again. Those are so funny. And it's, like, lined up with the natural terrain in terms of some kind of hammer. That's the shopping district, because it looks like it's some sort of vault I've got here. Hey, large rocks, alright. Actually, how many rocks do I have? Because I might not have been picking them up. Just the six I got, that's my first guy with rocks. I'm surprised I haven't seen more guys with rocks in the dungeon, but I'll take the ones in the Orcish Mines. Oh, anyone want to move up? There we go. They're guarding a ring of wizardry. How are these spells going? So the I can get a second level spell going. Fourth level spell's a bit high level. Oh, fifth level spell's like a tiny bit on it. Right. But that's what ones I've got the skills in. Alright. Well, I get the I won't get the uh, manifold assault just yet. But it is kind of the right sort of character to have that, because then I can hide behind my ancestor and just manifold assault people. Not that they're really quite the right sort of ancestor to hide behind, but oh well. Get back again. Come on, Ancestor. <laughs> it's all about just not getting myself surrounded by, like, priests and stuff. Oh, hey, big guy. <sighs> really, Ancestor? You get yourself killed going there. I guess that's fine. I 
I gotta take Bob damage. I think it's fine. It's just both those guys that pull ups. They're both just gonna sit back there. So it's robot folly. If that's more spellcasting things. It's a um hold up. There's a cloak of two fires just three enter that lets you fly. So I lose like three armor class. Fire is like nice, but it's not that important. Um Maybe later on, if I don't need the willpower, so like minus willpower is probably fine. Yeah, I'm sitting on five willpower right now. Uh, gotta move up here, I think. Actually working? Uh... Oh, I just had it. And so many of these high priests around, I feel like those are dangerous because of the things they summon. There might be a giant spike club, there's an undead hunter, there's no giant spike clubs. Usually when you buy giant spike clubs, they start with like a really high enchantment bonus, so that's uh, one reason to want to go buy one. But no, none, uh, none for sale. I mean, they, they kind of got to right, because they're competing with all the ones you find on the floor, so like, everyone's going to have a giant spike club. Just uh, some people might going to have a very good one. Uh, I've had the actual guys so just all those little summons. Oh. <laughs> right, what's the shop? It's just armor. Just body armor, even. I mean, if it was auxiliary armor, it would be more useful. Let's check this one. And again, it's body armor. That's not even armor you can wear. It's just like plain armor and stuff. Alright, well, the orcish mines are done. I think I was uh, just going down the dungeon or something. The other thing I want to buy, I mean, there's still that like, cloak. Still a couple of manuals, some of them are like transmutations or anything, though, unfortunately. These are reflected. Dre's good, I killed it before I decided to do that one. Find myself a manual of us. I really, I don't know. I really think it's going to be a struggle to get any sort of spells going. So there's uh, it's Ambrosia. Oh, Heal Wounds. I want that. That's not identified. I get the invisibility as well for some sort of reason. All right. Uh, magic, Might, Mutation, this Curing. There's tons of stuff here. I could grab it some stage. Right? Really? They don't stack with anything in my inventory? Oh, we've got the Wizardry. Mm, I might keep that one. I'll try to the strength. I might go with the strength for now. My AC is doing it all right, and I definitely need something to buff up my strength when I'm wearing such heavy armor. Hey, giant spike. Uh, not giant spike. Rocks? What am I talking about? Rocks. General rocks. Uh oh. She's a damage to me. I need to get more of the invocations, don't I? That's fine. I think so, because I got the fire resist. Yeah, everything's just undying. Okay. So let's do the let's do the invocations right now. Actually, let's get um I'll start with eight of those. Like it's plus two attribute. It shouldn't take too long to get eight. Could probably go a little bit higher. We'll see. Ha, <laughs> degeneration. All right. I actually could rob my rock because I got twelve of those now, which is not too bad. But it looks like I got quite a collection of boomerangs as well. Did I get the trolls, which is often good for collecting the throwing weapons too? Um, I stopped the throwing on 8, but I can probably get more. I don't know. I was going to try the whole metaphor salt thing on this character. Level the dungeon, so I'm approaching the end of the dungeon at least. Oh, brand weapon. I do need to brand my weapon. I've got three of these, so that's a good chance of getting something heavy. Oh, 1.7 attack delay. But if I do get manifold assault going, that's like really nice. Um, I might keep it as a heavy one. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. Where's my narrow staircase? I think it's actually nope this way, except oh, yeah, there it is. 
That's quite the one I saw initially, but it'll do. Can we just throw a rock at this guy? That's a Jade Marability Maze. I never use that one because it's just like such a silly maze. I'm hoping I find it early on in the character where I can like, actually use it because that would be kind of funny. Oh, good rocks. Let's throw some rocks at these guys though because there's enough of them. Oh. Ah, you know what? I'll drop the flaming bell legs. Okay, well, one more level of the dungeon. Um. I can't get the translocations just yet. I'm looking around. I've got the, got the intelligence. So, like, that's going to help, but. I'm not worried about how many guys there are here. Can I just get some of these guys with like a grab a tambourine? A mirror up. This one. Aha, I died. Yeah, I think I'm better off if I just actually teleport um, before I'm too low on health. Oh. Kalatuanoga. Oh, well, so I drink one of the curing. Oh, that got me back a little bit. I think I can get to the second so with that teleport. All right. Excellent. Everything is back online. No, that was a lot of ogres. Unfortunately, not the. Not the Cyclops, it's, oh, it's more ogres? I might just go back to the staircase again. I'm not too worried about that ogre mage there, although actually I am a bit worried because it's going to bind all these up, or haste all these up. There's enough guys here, I don't want them all hasted. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's not quite where I want to be. I guess I'm here. That's fine. My ancestor can just stay behind me and give me some spell support. That's the last level of the dungeon. All right. Well... Shows a spider nest. I think I go to the spider nest. Um... Gonna get a little bit of throwing skill, maybe like 14 or something. Because it's quite important to be able to throw things at the, um... Ooh, ow. There are guys that need that. Do I have a fear this has not gone well? Um, hmm. Let's try the trolls. Yeah, that goes a little bit better. You know, I should probably quit around the boomerangs. Because I don't want to be throwing rocks around here with all the water that, uh... Yeah, because I might throw my rock into uh, deep water unless I'm being particularly careful. I mean, all creatures were uh, uh, tough. I should be watching out carefully and make sure I throw my rocks carefully and stuff. Alright, let's just... I guess I get a cold protection ring. It's alright. This... Doesn't feel easy, but I think it's feeling more doable than the spider's nest was. Oh, I carry around a Rick and Willpower? That's kind of funny. Let's drop that one. It's just kind of funny because I've got like a smash out Willpower right now, so no point in putting that one on. Oh, just throw boom rings at this dude. If it wasn't right away, I guess it can. I just. Yeah, stand back and throw at it. Is that an armor shop? He's got an armor outside. He's got a robe of fire. Just, yeah, it's an armor shop. What are those crystal plate armor? It's got all the good armor on display, but you can't actually get it without shatter. Sure.
All right, straight shot. I would still take L's out of things to enchant, right? Oh, there's Polyphemus there. I can tell because of all the... Oh, I lost my answer, so... I can tell because of, like, all these death yikes and the cat of Leapers and all that sort of stuff. It's a sure sign that there's Polyphemus around. Do I need a Blade Talisman? No, I don't need a Blade Talisman. I don't need a points from this. I do maybe need a Sea Invisible. I don't think those are massively important because my arm is giving me all the resists I need, right? Alright. What is the damage on this thing? 88, but it's 1.7 attack delay. Hey! Hey there, it's Stackman! How's it going? This is, uh... Very much not my first character today, but it's, uh... It's doing, it's doing well. It's uh, surviving, at least. Oh, there's Axulus Ghost, the Spriggan Berserker. I don't think they can Berserk because they're a ghost. They've got a, oh, a 98% chance to evade my weapon. No thanks, I don't think so. Oh, it's a big sub AC. Are you a hybrid casting? I was doing casting, and then I found this uh, Gold Dragon Arm, plus 11 Gold Dragon Arm. Harm, no, there's three willpower of this corrosion. That's minus four strands, but whatever. And I decided, oh, I guess I'm, uh... I guess I'm wearing heavy armor now. Can I actually finally idealize my ancestor? I actually know where she went. Um, she's definitely still alive. Hold up. Oh, she's back here. Oh, this one was made to target. Uh... I don't even know how much health she's got, which is maybe a bit of a problem. Did I, I didn't kill her. And now I don't know where she is. She must have teleported again. Can we go with the javelins here? Because they seem to be doing all right, but... Uh... Okay. Actually, I'm really wounded. I might need to teleport out. I'm going to start my drinking healing potion. Um... If she was visible, I would know whether I wanted to stick around or not. But because she's invisible, I don't know if I need to stick around. So I'm just going to get out of there. Excellent. Oh, you won your first Null Cinder Acolyte? Super fun! Oh, Scorch was great. Yeah, Null Cinder Acolyte's interesting, because I guess you could get the Scorch going fairly quickly. I don't know with Cinder Acolytes, like, what I- I usually just get melee, but, like, you can totally turn them into Fire Mages, right? Wait, what? Oh, auto pickups off because of my fight earlier. With Oshui, sure. I mean, I could probably just leave her on that level somewhere, it's probably- oh. Fine. It's two of my staircases. Hmm. <laughs> I just went full caster. Ah, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's always the plan. This character was meant to be going full cast to get get all the new spells castable, but I don't know if I'll be able to get anything castable in this uh, armor. All right, what have we got here? We've got a magic potion. That's all too bad. Some stage. Uh, grass will grab the lignification. It's, uh, oh, I might grab the emulation as well. There's probably some, plenty of stuff. Oh, wait, is there mine in here as well? Man, I need to remember to use these mines, I think. I didn't get any Neverline spells. Jiva mutated with wild magic two out of three. So that I'm doing Arc Jolt and Refrigeration. Arc Jolt's a lot of fun now that it's like had its range like increase a bit. I've had a few characters use that, but not melee. A blaze heart golem. I must already have orbs of destruction because I just picked up some dangerous friends and I didn't get orb of destruction. Okay, that's a javelin the air. You know what? I might javelin the javelin the air, I guess. Am I still trading the range? I am 12 throwing. That's not bad. Oh, what? I don't have any unidentified stuff, okay. Well, I'll, I'll drop the evasion. I'm, I'm fine with my three evasion. Well, as fine as you can when you only have three. Uh. Hey, 
at what point do I try and get the Manifold Song going? Because I kind of do want to get that one going with this character. It sounds kind of fun, because I got a heavy Giant Spike Club. I got lots of intelligence. Because I wasn't, like, a spellcaster for the longest time with this character. Um... I was not even getting that throw to 14, that seems reasonable enough. So yeah, first level spells with 9 scale is not really castable. Hmm. Well, I guess that's, uh, that's not actually 9 scale, so it kind of a mix. I gotta try, like, I don't know if this is a good idea, I'm gonna try, like, 22 translocations and, uh, maybe a wizardry, see if I can get some battlefall assault going in gold dragon armor. It's kind of ridiculous, but I, I wanted to give it a try. I kind of miss Manifold Assault. I, I used to really love that spell. <laughs> also, random, but just trying a dry brine? For some fish for the first time? It's supposed to be really good with low effort? I've never, like, tried to, like, brine up fish. See how that goes. That sounds interesting. So what do you do? Do you just like leave it soaking in the brine for a while or? Uh... Oh, it takes like 30 minutes. You don't even have to soak it that long. Mm. Uh... I'm actually throwing some boom rings this way. I'm not sure if I can stick around here. Nah, I definitely can't stick around here. Um, I teleport out. I think this is fine. Oh. I might do another teleport. I'm not sure about this. Um, uh, might have just been able to move to the edge, though. I probably could have, but it's fine. Is this a self trapped in memory? Sure. Oh, it's, it's all these dudes again. It's like, this literally the same dudes. Um, there we go. Finally got somewhere where I can finally get my health back. Instead of trying to hide around too much. Oh, the so dry brine is so just a salt spice and then rinse it off. Ah, oh, yeah. That would kind of... I mean, I feel like that would kind of... I actually had no idea how that would taste. And it sounds like it might always be sort of a bit like smoked fish or something. Probably not quite. Let's kind of give it like a hint of salt. Boom dragons, dude. I don't want to run up. Yeah, bring these around the corner. There we go. I'll report back and let you know how it tastes. Yeah, definitely do. I'd, um, I'm interested in how this goes. Because it might be something that I'm going to have to try if it works out well. I got a hand axe, alright. What was that with this guy? Was it a distortion? It was, in fact, distortion. Alright. It's nice that I can win the rage fights with a javelin in the air, because uh, I know a lot of characters don't sort of win so well in those. Okay. I reckon this is, uh, this is my rune vault in here, I reckon. Although that wasn't a spectral kraken, it was like a normal kraken. I still reckon it's my rune vault. Oh, ow. I get my ancestors back. The kraken's still hanging around here, unfortunately. That's better. There we go. Got my barnacle rune, which is my first rune on this character. But with how the dance for the spiders this one, do I leave it all out to the. I don't know, I've got no resistant electric for the vaults, but I've got everything else I need. Now I might try the spider's nest again. I think I'm a lot tougher than I used to be. Do you want it? I don't really want to get a statue form going this time, so I'll leave Rock's head be. I think I'll... Yeah, I'll just leave it with the scroll, I guess, and try and go to... Uh, back to the spider's nest. I'm need curing. I've got a curing here. Alright, uh... I'm probably 100% failing the manifold salt, but I'm gonna get it going. Just so I can, uh, I don't know, watch that, see when it starts 
making some progress. See if if it starts making some progress. Oh, don't web me up. I'm gonna buff my ancestor. Um, how oh, they died anyway. They could add a teleport here. Uh, uh oh. That's gonna require all the healing potions. Yeah, this is. That's not where I wanted that to take me. Um, I gotta dump a fear on these guys. Man. I think I dump another fear on these guys. Um. Can I dig back a bit? This is not going great, I'll be perfectly honest. Oh, that didn't really dig me the way I wanted. I mean, it kind of got me closer to the exit. I think it's where I should probably go at this point. Right, well, I'll try the vaults and see how that goes. Uh, actually, go to vault zero and sit outside. A billion three hundred percent speed spiders running around you. Oh, they're sure as they're just absolutely swarming me. That's not gonna work. Guy surely can't mark me. Surely, zero percent. Yeah. Think that guy's with mark spells. I've actually got willpower this time round. Viator remembers more of her old skill. What does he do now? Magma Bolt and Stone Arrow. Yeah. She only has like one third of my health, but I'm sure she'll uh, be able to do some stuff. Oh, she didn't see Zalt to me so well anymore. That's probably the mages. Man, I say good here. Curing's always good because I can drink that for free attacks. Um, I might just buy all this stuff. Okay. Oh, did I buy it? I did find when I didn't need it. Oh, I did too. It's fine. It wasn't that expensive. Alright. How's my attack speed going? 1.7. It's not really budget because I don't think I've got that uh, going in a while. Man, I'm still 100% failure on this. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I should be surprised that I'm 100% failure. Those are repelling missiles. Is that what I want to see? Where's the ghost? There it is. Um, I'll try Tremus those, these dudes. Okay, I did a bit of damage. I can tr grab a tambourine, these ones. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? I can, uh, something the rest of them? Oh, I mean, I guess I can drink a healing potion and then keep on going to grab a tambourine, I guess. Um, where's my rocks? Hey, as this is back. Oh, for a little while. <laughs> Not for long, though. They just popped the head and took a few tents for me. Have you tried Jail's Grab Yeah, it's really good. Um, because it pulls all the creatures into a spot. Actually, oh, I don't know what I should be getting <laughs> with those skills. But yeah, it definitely pulls things in and it's really nice. I don't really have much skill with it with this character. It still uh, seems to do alright. And it does a little bit of damage while it's holding them in. Spot and it can be good for like getting up staircases too sometimes. Sometimes you can just pull some guys back. <sighs> I gotta teleport out of here. Oh what? There's guys? Okay. You know what? I have some friends with me while I fight there, because my health is getting rather low. Um, Fighter repel missiles, that might be kind of nice right now. I don't think I do, though. Got a no, I don't. I just got various kinds of clunks as, a, as options at the moment. Oh, man, <laughs> that's just not built for tanking. Uh, apparently there was a little while where the Gravitambourine didn't work when you were silenced because it was like a musical instrument and then it just got like reverted again so apparently it works when you're silenced again which is kind of nice. Alright, what's my way down? But the Evoke Ball is kind of one of the first things you pull out when you get silenced because I mean, not much works. I mean, I guess you can still hit things with giant spike clubs. Uh... 
and rocks. So this character's got a few more options when they get silenced, but some characters don't have a lot of options. I'm trying to stand back a lot in here because I feel like this is one, one of the worst points of the game for this character. Man, I don't know. I don't... Mm, I'm not convinced that getting this invocated is the right thing to do. If that starts uh, getting down below 100% failure soon, that would be nice. <laughs> so I can see that it's actually making some progress. I did not wait for my answers to come back, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, that didn't work. Um, it's like almost dead, but... I still think I'm gonna drink a healing potion. Oh, there we go. Kind of getting to the point where, like, the amazing armors, uh, you might or No, I guess you probably would already have something like this. I don't know, I might buff up my hands just, uh, just a little. Ah, still died. I can quick sell this guy to start a recoil, though. Nope, I cannot. Oh, there we go. Oh, I still sold them for recoil. Like, I don't know if I... I might have successfully quicksilvered them and they started again, or I might have messed with the quicksilver. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell. I guess you can sometimes look at their health and they get damaged by it, then you know that you just, uh, they just started it again. Uh, I gotta hide from this guy. There we go, it's splitting up. Right, nice. More haste. That's exactly what I need. Oh, I'm gonna take off the spell again. There's still 100% failure. Come on, Manifold Salt. You know, if this was, uh, this was the old Manifold Salt, I'd probably be noticing it starting to get castable. Actually, it probably still wouldn't be fully castable, even the old Manifold Salt. Okay, so my answer's got a larger tag of freezing now, by the looks of things. That's pretty good. I should be able to kill some of these guys. Ah, let my ancestor die again. That's a problem. Um, why can I double these guys? I can dub. Uh, uh, oh, it's the same complaint about the new manifold assault. It's level seven is too high. Yeah, it does feel like it's only for extended. The only character I've had so far that successfully had it was the extended. I might go invisible. It's not really helping. Um, fine. I'll mirror up this dude. I just, I mean, I've got characters that have really pushed it to get it earlier than that, but they didn't survive. Probably because they pushed it way too hard. Um, I'll drop the whole, uh, polymorph, I guess. I don't have a resistant electric, which is not ideal. Um, I'm trying to heal up my answers, but it's not really working. I guess I just gotta, wait, do I not have a silence? I read this scroll. Once I read Torment, oh, that didn't help. I'm drinking resistance. Oh, ow, I'm gonna drink a healing potion now. Oh, he's gonna kill himself at this rate, but I'm gonna go through all my healing potions, unfortunately. Oh, he didn't kill himself. I, no, that's not gonna work. I gotta dump some fear on these guys. They're all running away for except one, which is good. Unfortunately, I got so close to killing Nicola, but I didn't quite, um... Alright. At least I got an ancestor now. I guess, uh, I guess the scroll didn't quite work. I thought it might be silence, but I was obviously completely wrong on that. I can start with something different, like, you can start with the potion of resistance, I suppose. Next time we fight Nicola. Presuming I even see him again, which would be kind of nice if I didn't.
All right, so I got over 30 rocks, so I'm doing just fine with the rocks. I can, in fact, keep on just uh, smacking these guys all with rocks. Oh, that's not working. I think my ancestor died already. Can I just... Grab a tab, read those guys. Oh, this guy's hasted. And unfortunately, unless these guys get back to me, which is not what I wanted to see. I think the best thing to do is maybe some fear. Uh... This is always a good spot, like, pulling them around like that so you can just hit one guy at a time is really nice. Alright. I think we got any sort of uh, range attacks. There we go. So I'll start with the I'll start with the resistance this time around fighting Nicola, and I'll throw some rocks at him. I think he got rid of my answers pretty quickly. At least I'll keep on going with the. There we go. I mean, the resistance potion did the trick. What did he have? He had something good. He had a plus zero cloak. He had something. Wait. Oh, can I not use that? It's probably. Wait. What? I gotta look at useless stuff. I thought it was oh gloves over this cold, right? That makes sense. And they are artifact ones. As I guess most of the uh, cold resist gloves probably are artifacts. I mean, I think theoretically you can find them in some sort of like I think it might be special shops that's like cloak and fire and dust. I know some of the fire caves and stuff too, but yeah, that, that sort of thing quite rare. And they kind of think the unusual brands. Uh, where's my answer? So come on, get back here. He's gonna die in like every fight, but at least they, uh, they're at the start of the fight. I can, if I want to, do the Quicksilver, I should. Alright, so that's level 4 of the vaults almost done. Got a little bit more to do, so I'm not quite there yet. You gotta check, the amount of- oh hey, it's budging! 97% uh, failure on the Manifold Sword at 14 skill. You see, that's the thing, like, if I was an old character with this sort of intelligence, I would probably have the Manifold Assault, like, just online by now. At least at a point where it was kind of usable. Oh well. At least it has more targets, I guess, now, but still. It's, it's kind of ridiculous getting online if you're not an extended character. Uh, this looks like a spot for some javelins to me. I do think the same for this shield. Obviously hasn't uh, accounted for my javelins. Oh, that guy's a little hand cannon. There you go, hand cannon of flaming. I don't think you can tell like what brands they have unless you like examine them right. Probably some means I'm moving kind of slow, but I still think I should get out of here. Wait, wrong one. I need rocks. Give me rocks. Yes, I idealize my ancestor. I mean, yeah, it's hard to tell like what other things are coming along there. Okay, more rocks of the stone giant. All right, level twenty. How's that manifold salt going? Ninety percent. That's it's progress. That's all I can really say. How many times can I cast this? Seven level spells. If I cast it three times. 21 magic. Four times 28 magic. Okay, you know, like four times. It's just not that many times.
That's what I need, like, Sif mod or something. Anyway, I won't go to the... Do I go to the spider's nest? I guess I go to the spider's nest. Hopefully the extra XP I've got is enough to make the difference. Oh, goodbye, Roger. <laughs> One rock to the face is all it takes these days to get rid of Roger, at least uh, at this point in the game. Uh, hey, Donald. I think he's alright. Yeah, he's got him kind of flagged with my ancestors as well. Man, it's this error. These errors are never worth doing. In fact, one of his then he'll go berserk as well. And it's also... Chia Dissus Ghost? An Oni Ice Elementalist of Okawaru. I don't think they're really an Ice Elementalist anymore, because it looks like they got this melee attack for 33 damage or something. <laughs> I think they just started as an Ice Elementalist. It's not like this character started as a Chondra. Not doing a lot of conjuring anymore. Oh, 80% of the pedophile assault. Well, how about that? Is that trying to irradiate my ancestor or something? It certainly wasn't going for me, which is nice. Did I kill the kill the ghost moth? I can tell because it said I felt more experience. I was just like trying to look through the message log, find exactly where that message was. Sometimes things get a bit buried. I mean, it's not quite as bad as being a summoner where things get really buried, but that's fine. Um, yeah, the answer is that it does add some messages to the message log. Oh, you also want some of that fish, Brian? Uh, do you forget? Everyone wants the fish right now. No, it really does sound, it does sound worth a try. Alright, I'll step, oh, I don't know if I should step back. I don't think my answer is going to survive that one. I still need a little bit longer, right, because he said I need like half an hour, right, so I guess that still would be just a little bit, ooh. Uh, are you gonna try to make your own tea juice thing energy drink? How do you even like make an energy drink? Are they just like, I don't know. I guess you can make them for different things, but don't they often just like a bunch of caffeine or something? Oh, uh. I think I just gave up fighting that guy. Don't worry about it, it's a radiate. Right, gotta be getting close. No, I'm 77%. That's not even close. How? Oh, I've got 18. It's like, what am I? Not even my highest skill, but it's getting up towards my highest skill on the translocations. I'm getting quite late in the game as well. I'm still not managing to become a, basically a warper. He said, not really a Warper, like an old school Warper, because the new Warpers don't even have Manifold Assault. Heifer's really good. Yeah, Heifer's fun. Any sort of rage character, like, totally just take Hef and you can just hide behind your ancestor. Yeah, you often take the Knight, because I think that's probably one of the best ones, but, um... This Battle Mage isn't bad either. Like, uh, it's just the Knight's one of the better ones that's surviving, so it's kind of like you have an extra shield. The Battle Mage does more damage, of course, but it doesn't survive anywhere near as good. Also, audio amazing. Look at the strength of it. Yeah, I've actually got two uh, strength rings on because my uh, strength is kind of a little sad. But it's doing, it's doing the trick here. These two strength rings on. Because this armor just gives so many resists and, like, it can just afford to put on whatever with the rings. Like, whatever gives me damage, that sort of thing. Uh, buff the Ancestor. I don't care about the evasion. But yeah, the Oddies are very good with their strengths usually, so it helps with any sort of melee character. And of course I started with a mage, so I got all the end trouble the time I was as a mage. I think I just wait around here, there we go. Yes, this has got the situation under control. Doesn't need me to do anything. Oh, Dragon Brawling is incredible. Yeah, the thing where, like, you can just drink a, well, a health potion or a Ambrosia potion and just whack everyone around you. 
Oh, speaking of healing potions, I do need one of those. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to try the wizardry, see if I can make my spells any better. 50%, 56%. Well, it's a bit of an improvement, but it's not quite there. Oh, uh, wait, did I put the wrong one? Oh, no. Oh, it's 58 percent It barely makes a difference. Okay, never mind. I thought I, I thought it was a bit worse at the, um... The manifold sold. Apparently, I'm actually getting to the point where I'm making some progress now. Uh... Oh, the video is incredible. Big drug dog at the park. Is magic giving up? Yeah, because I think it works with Ambrosia, but I'm not entirely sure how it works with Ambrosia. Just the Ambrosia gets, like, highlighted in a different color. I'm going up because they're getting, like, orbs of destruction flung at me. Oh, where did my ancestors to go? Did I not? I left them upstairs. Well, that was silly of me. Go take them down the answers. Like, if you leave them behind by accident, they're pretty easy to go grab. Like, you've got the whole Rico ancestor thing, which is great. In fact, you definitely need that, because otherwise it would be very easy to get your ancestors trapped somewhere. Um... Alright. Well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out with a blaze of glory. Well, not me die, but if my ancestors gonna die, they can go out with a blaze of glory. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Man, my ancestors are still alive somehow. I might buff them up if they're gonna, <laughs> gonna still be alive. Yeah, I was expecting them to totally go out with a blaze of glory, but maybe not. Uh, are you wondering whether it goes zag? I don't think it does. I think it's specifically with a potion that's not any potion effects. I can get some strands. Uh, but I could be wrong with that, but yeah, I think it's specifically the potions. I should get two free hits for Ambrosia. Is that how it works? Right. Not sure how often I want to do Ambrosia in combat, but if I do, at least I get some sort of benefit out of it. For my dragon brawling. All right, let's get let's get back here. And it's actually quite good with these heavy weapons as well. Um, I think someone got like uh, what was it called, the Dark Ball and Oni, <laughs> where the Oni were quite new. And they got to swing that around in a ridiculous way. Uh, I gotta buff the ancestor. I think they're actually some sort of mage, but like they still made use of swinging the dark ball with their drunkenness. That's my scarf because that was resistance. I still got the one that gives 3 AC. I mean, that's fine. I don't need it right now. Uh... Alright, it's my second rune. Where do I go next? I guess just the Elven Hall's right? 34th failure of this Manifold Assault. I'm really tempted to actually give that a try. I know it's like got a big failure on it. Let's give it a try. Oh, minus move. Okay. Yeah, it didn't really work. I left me with less magic to buff my ancestor as well. It's not, not really there yet. Uh... I don't know why I'm using it anyway, because obviously that's a silly plan, but I am. You know, I go back to quivering up the large rocks. That's the most sensible thing to have quivered right now. Oh, ow. That was quite a bit of uh, electric damage because I got no resist electric. It's a one resist I believe I don't have with this character. Oh, it gives you two free hits because it's both. So it's like. Curing and healing or something, I don't know. Does it say if I look at the potion? It definitely says it gives some sort of attack with it. Uh. I got a plus three giant spike club. I'm doing, I'm doing reasonable damage to the giant spike club. Uh, it should be, like, it's a heavy one, so it should be good with the manifold assault, but... I don't know, the Manifold Assault just isn't there yet. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Am I slowly losing party from buffing my ancestors? I guess I'm up to that point in the game. 
Uh, I gotta buff my ancestor. But I'm gonna be up the front, I think. Actually, I might move back. There we go. Astera instead. He is not too bad. I need to get to that magic power that's crackling away. So I've got, uh, do I have the magic mapping revelation? There it is. I do appear to be in completely the wrong era right now. I don't know. Just trying to get my rocks back, but that doesn't seem like the best idea. So I can drop... Oh, I've got full inventory. I can drop... The wizardry didn't work out, because I don't have enough strength. I'll drop the amnesia. Drop the brand weapon, even though I've got so many of those, but I, I drop it anyway. I don't think I'm rebranding away from heavy. It's decent. Wait, this is all the, the mage one, the whatever it's called. The cloud mage. There are a few things that are fairly tough about this. Uh, mainly the... One of the little guys called the Death Ranks in here. I mean, you could try and bring out the... Like a fog cloud or something. Oh, there's one. But it's really hard with this uh, natural fog that doesn't quite cover. But I'll try like an actual fog cloud. There we go. That stopped his breath. I really don't want to get like myself all slowed and stuff. Is that a shapeshifter or what time with that one? Didn't look like it had a repel missiles on it, so maybe it was. Anyway, let's do the fog again. Yeah. Okay, here we go, like the short race and paralysis there. Just uh, retreat up a little bit. I might just do a little bit down the other side, try and clear out the creatures of that one as well. A giant spike club's amazing on Oni. Yeah, they, they're really fun. Um, they're a little bit harder without the metaphor soul because shields are like Oni's main defenses, but this character found gold dragon armor, so I got some other defenses, which is nice. Alright, what's the mage? Thirty percent to hit. I guess my answers is doing something as well. I get out of fog up again, unfortunately. All right. I should be right up to the cloud mage pretty much by now. No, there's still more. There it is. It's a uh, Laura Hickey, the. Cloud Mage. They got their Polar Vortex, of course. I'm gonna buff up my ancestor. I think they're gonna be the one up the front taking the Polar Vortex. Hey, Cloud Mage is dead. They just need a large rock to the face like so many enemies do. I actually need their rope with the Cloud Mage, but that's fine. I do need these javelins. And what's this? Resist the electric. That's nice. Evasion. Okay. If I lose my strength, though, uh... oh my dex is a little sad putting this on, but I'll try it on. Um, instead of strength, of course. So oh, that's way worse than the manifold assault. I think that's a swap as needed kind of rig. Um, of course, still nothing to identify. All right, well, let's get out of here, I guess. It's cloud Mage and Scar for Repulsion. Um, I'm done with the bolts though, so like, so like, that's less useful these days. Yeah, well, let's get out of here. Is there repelling missiles? No. Is repelling missiles not a thing that enemies have anymore? Is it just, like, the ghosts that do the repel missiles? Because that'd be kind of funny. I don't know, it kind of feels like it. Oh, I got confused, of course. Well, that's fine, I got the cure again. I think I get a free attack and oh, I need the cure again. Unless I'm still getting my attacks in. Is 
There's a room full of fire little they Oh, right, quads will alter. That makes a little bit more sense. Right, first of all, I actually should do the Hall of Blades of this character, but it's not going to be the easiest, but it will give me the enchant weapons, which I kind of need, um, because I'm only on plus three. Can I make this even? I don't think I can make this any higher. Yeah, so definitely grab a couple of enchant weapons for the Hall of Blades. Seventy percent failure on the battlefield assault. I don't know. I mean, if it's gonna, I mean, it gotta try it at some stage. All these big bugs or something. One of a kind bugs. Like horrible things. Discord fireball. Summon hydra horn. Magnavolt. Ignition. Summon forest. Mana viper. I don't think I need this. Crystal spear. No. Um, I gotta try the try the battlefield assault again. Alright, well, actually, uh, hold up. What I should- No, spellcasting's already 8, but I should get some more. I should get, like, 12 spellcasting or something. And I think it's guaranteed to hit, which is kind of nice when I got a weapon that's not massively great at hitting. Uh, it's not guaranteed to do damage, but I think that was one of the changes, like, the little buffs to Metaphone Salt to make up for its level being raised so drastically. This is actually working now. I think I've probably got this castle that actually does something. Oh, you, uh, tired yourself out, Jeepicus? How many masses did you manage to get? Does it say? I thought it said, like, uh, how many messages? I don't know. Maybe not. Or deleted when you timed out. Uh-oh, I'm not going anywhere. I guess this is when I just bring out the large rocks again. <laughs> of course, um, you can always rely on those. Ooh, do I need to teleport? Uh, I might need to. It might- oh, ow. Okay, it did put me back in the Hall of Blades, but that was kind of savage. Um, right. Did I hit the invisible guy or not? I don't think I do with metaphors, so you definitely didn't used to. I thought I saw like a... Okay, I can't see anything to attack, so I can't do the attack. Sure, okay, that makes sense. That's what I'm used to. I might just try to lightning rod it. I don't even know what's in there. I hit something. Uh... I found the mirror of this guy, I might just, uh... Can I just paralyze this guy? No, of course not. It was not gonna be that easy, can I... I got things I can do. I might just try a lightning rod a couple of times. Oh. Right, that's actually doing a lot of damage. I might mirror it up. What's it actually wielding? Just rapiers of electric fusion? Sure. I guess I'm not that well defended anymore, if you think about it. Like, I still got good armor, but I don't have any other defenses. So much for retreating with the whole minus move going for me. And you often end up with the mana photo assault because your know, failure is like so high that yeah, usually well it often fails when you cast it fourteen percent. And then it means you often get the minus move, which is pretty terrible. Anyway, here's a charge weapon. I got blade ties, but that's not what I want. I just want more charge weapons. Hey there we go, that's what I'm after. All right, plus five, plus six, that's pretty good. How much damage is this doing? It's doing 98 damage. Uh, it's still a 1.7 attack delay. You know what? I should bring that attack delay down because that's actually pretty bad. Oh yeah, 15 is good. Because um, I've sacrificed so much skill to try to get the manifold skill soul going, which I'm really not sure was worthwhile, but hey, it's working now. Oh good, another enchant weapon. I can definitely keep this one going. Uh... Oh man, I can't even stand back there because I got the minus move. And the destruction weapon was barreling down on me. Yeah, 
These are the tough elves. Um, probably gonna have to move back, so I need to just uh, just straight up move back. I think it's the right thing to do. There we go. Oh, whoops. Ah, still missing the magic points. I was meant to get all those ones back so I can keep on manifold sorting stuff. What do you mean I can't? Oh, it's fine. That transparent wall. Yeah, that's fair enough. In theory, I should head like a bunch of dudes, like at least four dudes. I can't remember quite how many of those these days with manifold salt, but the number got increased. Uh, can we stop being minus teleported? All right, it's a larger dude. Okay, that's fine. What is it next? Oh, there's this, the dude with the um, whole damnation going. Uh, thankfully, I'm an Oni. They're one of the best uh, characters against damn nature because they got so much health. Alright, I need some potential gold. I think I had uh, like, a scout of resistance for what I needed to get some more of this. But for now, I'm just kind of relying on the armor, which is doing just fine. Do I need the Amulet of Faith? Alright, uh... Do I want a magic regen? Man, maybe. I gotta try it on, like, uh, see if that's any good. Because <laughs> I do use my magic points now, but I use a lot of magic points. I'm almost back into being a mage. What is the power like in the Manifold Soul? 44%? Yeah, I should have these number of targets. Alright. I said percent failure as well, which is kind of nice what I want to see. Oh, I've always got my target for it though, and I still haven't got it quite castable. Maybe I can just get it castable by trading more on armor skill? Because <laughs> I'd love to get a bit more armor class. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a manual of throwing man. I used to use throwing quite a lot, but now I've got uh, into the whole... A uh, stuff of judgment? I don't need that one. I got into the whole, um... Manifold assault side of things. Fallout doesn't necessarily stop me doing this throwing. Anyway, let's go to depth, I guess? Yeah, there's still plenty of rocks and stuff if I do want to get uh, stay in the throwing. How's that club going outside? So going pretty well, so I'm down to 1.6 attack delay. If I have 100 damage, I'm exactly on 100 damage. That's not too bad. Uh, I think I dropped the repulsion. Yeah, I think the, the resistance would be more useful than the repulsion in here. There's a few guys that shoot missiles, but it's not the majority of them. Hey, Sam Roka. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, the oh, hi, Mark, a large white for you. I really hope it'll get mic, so that would be, uh, that'd be kind of tragic. There we go. Same Roger fell to the manifold assault. Oh. Little Reva, dude. I have nine percent failure, and I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, I think the the chance of success is gonna slow down now. Um, that's my way out, right? I might just get my magic points back. But that's not a bad exit out of there. Wait, where's my answers? I think it... Oh, they're right next to me. Uh, were they right next to me before? Was I just blind? Maybe there was. Manifold Souls Wild Night Club. Yeah, I mean, the giant fight club is about as good as you can get. Save for, like, the uh, Dark Mall or something. Because it's got, like, a really high damage rating. And that's what really matters with the uh, Manifold Salt. Because you don't want to waste too much magic points with a uh, quick weapon. Just casting it over and over. So I got basically the past we perfect weapon for it. Um... And even then, it'd still be, like, quite a struggle to get it going. Oh, it's a Juggernaut. Uh... Juggernaut's definitely going to be faster than me. Uh, 
Okay, what do I want? I want some... Fighting is reasonably cheap, but I might just get a little bit of mace and flails. There was something else I wanted to get a little bit of, little bit of armor. And then I guess I do fight. Oh, I guess I get the fighting at the same time. It's just... Super good for how cheap it is. I think I can retreat back now. Oh, except that good dude's... Dude's hazing himself. Okay. There we go. Now I can probably retreat back. Oh, minus move, come on. Now's not the best time for that. Um, if I grab these guys with a grab a tambourine. There we go, I can escape. And I probably should go down another staircase because those are definitely big melee combatants. So I don't want them like all around me or anything. Is this an actual staircase? No. Why did I stop there? I have no idea. For some reason the order explores like, oh, that looks like a good place to stop. I did get metaphors on, online yet. Yeah, I only took like 22 skill. I'm now a portless. Unfortunately, I don't think there's an ogre or Naughty specific uh, translocation skill. Otherwise, I'd totally be looking into getting that one. That's my answer. So get up a little bit closer. But usually, as an Naughty, you should have like fighting as your highest skill. I mean, even on, even on Spellcaster, like maybe. It's just because uh, it's so cheap with the plus three aptitude. And you get so much benefit from it with all the health you have. What's the translocation that? The setting at 22 translocations, 12 spell casting. Yeah, and uh, I got a decent amount of intelligence. Like 25 intelligence as well, which helps. I think I just back up. All right, and it's still got eight percent failure, which is not the best because I do keep on getting myself pinned in place, which I kind of have died to that before. Although I did also miss like a scroll, which didn't help. Um, I meant to click a butterflies like like in Revelations or something, which didn't help. All right, what's my chance actually hitting this guy? Does it say? Oh, hundred percent, because it's manifold assault, and it's hundred percent chance to hit now. Cost. I wonder what that takes into account shields or how that works. Because I know even the, like, snipe, which has got infinite accuracy, can occasionally, like, very occasionally be blocked. And it's always a really surprise when it happens. Isn't there something else that's, like, 100%, uh, like, infinite accuracy that can also be blocked sometimes? Uh oh Okay, get in here, ancestors, uh, allies. Do I have a brilliance? I got three of them. I might just pop one of those. I still got a round of magic points, aren't I? Why just go up with this mine? Oh, that's fine. That's the spot I can hide in. I would have never, like, gone through all those guys so without the brilliance on. Alright, good. I can not quite max out my weapon, but I'm getting pretty close to this enchant weapon. Bring it up to plus eight. I'm tempted to just turn this character into, like, a... I don't know. I'm tempted to go into extended. I'm not sure if I go to shining mode or whether I try and get a death talisman. It really depends what I find. Um, no death talisman, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind some of those. It's a late DCSS. There sure is, but again. Yep, because I uh, had that break earlier. So uh, for me, it's going to go on reasonably late. Um, but the time on stream will probably be out normal. Oh, there's Uthro Kumu's ghost. Kemu's ghost? They don't do much, but look at all these liches in here with the well, there's one lich. There's Tazox Ghost, Minotaur, Cinderacolite, like and Jiva. Oh, yeah, they're pretty fun. Almost 40 damage. I mean, they're a bit more dangerous. Ibia's Ghost, what are they? 46 damage. And Minotaur, Berserker, Trogna, what do they do a bit of damage? I looked at that one already. But there's so many liches in there, I can't even wear the boots. I mean, if it was useful items, I could probably do it with, like, a teleport, so you, like, uh, pop it open. Well, no, you read a teleport, you usually pop it open, and then, um... You kind of try and lure the creatures off in smaller groups. It sort of works. Hey, look how many things that heads up once. This is actually a decent AoE, I guess. 
I can't remember. I think it's from 4 to 12 targets. So about half power. I think that would be... What? 8, 7? Somewhere around there. It's pretty good. I don't know exactly how it scales, but it's something like that. Oh, another ghost? So many ghosts. Do any of these have, like, big impressive weapons? They down to the plus 8 gray mace. A freeze, I guess. One with a big impressive weapon. I think the rest just have normal things. And we've also got... Yenu... Yenu... Yenau's ghost? I can call him Yenau. Minotaur, Cinder, Acolyte, Jeeva. Hey, not all these Minotaur, Cinder, Acolytes, and Jeeva. I wonder whether I've done a Minotaur, Cinder, Acolyte. I probably have. I feel like I've done most of the melee Minotaurs. Got all the spellcasters left now. Where does this lead? Huh. Some sort of little vault with gold dragons in. Then I don't need their armor. Oh, let's go down. Get get answers back. Go up. There we go. Feels kind of strange not leading uh, gold dragon armor. Because it's already pre charged. I think it comes in like uh, plus 11 or something. I know it's definitely pretty good. Ah, nothing to identify yet. I want to man I can't manifold salt anymore. So what I can do though is can't do that much. I might just move back. Ha! Uh, I thought we could get in front of the in front of my ancestors there, but that's fine. But that way my ancestors could still shoot their spells through, even if they weren't tanking. But yeah, look at this gold dragon up. It's got everything in terms of resist. Resist corrosion, three willpower, it all no resists. That's a minus one strand, but it's got a little bit of a harm, which is whatever. In fact, harm's actually not bad with the Manifold Assault. That's a that's another thing to add to the collection of stuff that I've got to help you out the Manifold Assault. Oh, hey Tormentor. You know, another thing I could do, if I wanted to go extend, is I could go totally go Sif Mana and just channel magic. Um, but again, that would need, like, the Death Tallies, but it would maybe be kind of fun. Because <laughs> I don't like taking you have, like, quantum drinks, and I have before, they're, like, okay-ish. Um, but I probably want to go, like, I don't know, it depends if I find a Lich form or not, whether I want to get this, uh, branded with Holy Wrath or not. Oh, so you, uh, do a ranged demigod and try it by yourself, end up getting... 70 in armor class, 81 invasion, and 40 age shield. Nice. What are you using? A plus line hand cannon. Hey, I guess that was a 15 rune game. Those are really great defenses. No, demigods, once they get going, are pretty fun. It's kind of hilarious what you can get with your defenses. 80 invasion is pretty good, though. I think I got, what did I get? I just managed to squeeze out 100. That wasn't my first attempt. Oh, this is Death Tallies, but I think my previous attempt was like 90. Um, no, previous best one, not necessarily the one immediately before. But it really comes down to what items you find. And 80 is pretty good. Uh, especially when you go with that much shield value. You're really not going not to be too afraid of anything. Apart from damnation, I guess. Uh, so I got all this charm armor. It's not usually something I've like got excessive numbers of. Oh, more dragons. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this electric. I think I'm probably going to have to do the ring and just lose the strength. It's just fine. It just doesn't help with the whole spell casting, which is down to 6% fail. That's actually reasonable. I mean, obviously I want to get it better than that, but, like, it's getting there. <laughs> By the time I start extending, I might actually have, like, a reasonable chance of failure on this. I don't think I have a robe of Rampage. Huh. I won't, won't worry about a robe. Can't split open that thing with giants. Um, I'm running kind of lower places to go. I might just go to Zod 5. I guess. 
Do I have the death talisman? When do I want to get that going? I mean, I can't really right now. I gotta get these scales. Like, there's so much stuff I need to get. Alright, uh... Not the teleport. Go down. Um... I guess I might... Oh yeah, that's fine. I think. Oh, right. No answers, of course. Still, they're back quick enough. Um, did I? I did max out my weapon, right? So I don't need the charm weapon here, but I guess I can probably use the acquirement. Oh, so the little repel missiles, dudes. I don't think that uh, can repel like my man, uh, my big club, though. Oh, it's a big funny number race. <laughs> yeah, I mean, demigods is kind of the thing. Like, instead of getting danks, I mean, they're almost like a champion angels worshiper. Almost. I mean, they don't get the slow, but they do get everything else. Um, Which kind of slow is the thing you want to avoid. I mean, I guess they don't get the escape options either. Oh, the dream shot or spectral giant club. Uh, whatever. Dream shot is not that good anymore. I think I keep my magic regen. Oh, the gloves are uh, just intelligence. They're not even enchanted up or anything. Okay. Let's see what. Oh, we got more guys for me to bash up. <laughs> see what else we got. There's some sort of potion here. I do want to figure out what it is because I can. It's a uh, light but... Can I finally get rid of this identify? I think I finally can. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's my last uh, thing to identify. Oh, you didn't expect it? It feels like pandemonium is relatively low risk if you're doing 100 plus per shot. Death Bomb makes it trivial, though, if you want to be safe. Yeah, Death Bomb is, uh, Death Bomb is definitely nice, Pandemonium. Because it means you can, like, get to the end without being horribly mutated as well. Which, the mutations have definitely caused a few of my characters not to be able to continue anymore. So it's nice to uh, not have that risk. Oh, really? Manual shields? I mean, sure. This character's got giant spike club, not shields, though, in their mind. You put out Dream Shot to the test the other day, saved you from a lethal hit, but the situation didn't change much, so you still died, man. I mean, I've had to save my life before after being nerfed, but... It's just, I don't know, it's just, uh, losing out on your magic regen is such a, like, quality of life loss for something that's probably not gonna save you. I mean, obviously, like, sure, if you don't have any other good amulets, just wear it, right? It's still Acrobat, which is pretty decent, but... I don't know, I really like my whole regen thing on a lot of characters. Um... Oh, the br brine worked out well for the texture. It's Snackman, excellent. It was juicy and flaky. Mmm. So, do you like, uh, do you just like cook it up normally after you've like... ...washed off the salt, or how does it work? Sounds like something I've got to try at some stage. I guess I can just look up how to do like a dry bride or something or scroll silence. Uh... Drop the fire resist ring because I'll probably just rely on the scarf of resistance pretty soon, I reckon. Ah, it's invisible. Let's pull it back. There we go. Ancestor dealt with it. Alright, let's move back again. 
No more guys, alright, that's fine. Um How are these skills going on? Oh, there's a recent limit of 18 on the massive flails. I kinda wanna get a bit more massive flails. Like, what's the mid delay? It's quite uh quite a lot. 22. Yeah, I reckon I get to 22, which is what I think I set the limit on. And then I just stop there and maybe start focusing on getting the death talisman going. And I think it's longer of like reasonably okay at getting death talismans going. That's gonna run me out of magic, so it's fine. There's nothing stopping me running here though, because these are just like normal speed guys. Uh, oh yeah, basically just f pan frying, but you can also grill smoke. Oh yeah. Guess it depends what sort of flavor you're after, but pan frying is uh, always really nice for fish. That's what I often do when I have fish. I kind of wish, wish Dream Shard did a random thing, high value defensive effect, but it'd be fun to use. What if you could uh, reverse Sharp like Ignis? Right, so when you like, uh, when you get brought down to death health instead of like dying, you just reverse shaft up a level on one hit point or something. That would actually be kind of cool. I mean, not everywhere can let you reverse shaft, but a lot of things areas kind of can. I got like 66 rocks that I'm probably never going to use. Anyway, let's get, uh, let's get everything. Got 3,000 gold. Yeah, let's get everything. <laughs> Buy the shop out, because the curing's still useful. Because, uh, sure, like, cures for a little bit, which is not that much. But it also lets me get attacked, so it's basically... A little bit of healing for no turn really used up. And I think it has everyone around me as well, so it can be useful for that as well. Alright, well, let's false 5 done. Um, I gotta put all this resistance, I think. That looks fine. Let's go to the slide pits, I think, next. I gotta just try and get, like, a bunch of XP, because I feel like I'm falling behind on that. Oh, break anyway, so you think it's fine for it to be a strong effect? Yeah, the problem was before that, like, people were, like, always just using it when they had it, but, like, I mean, that's kind of what... A lot of artifacts are right, alike anyway. Um, if you've got them, you use them. Why am I not going to the slime pits? Oh, because I excluded it. Right, I see. Just go outside. I got the acid resist on my armor, right? Okay. Don't want to just get mal mutated, guys. Hopefully, I get something a bit better than that. A better selection. All right, well, that's the first level done. Yeah, this is definitely hitting a bunch of dudes. Okay. Um, I guess I'm my magic points straight. That's not right because of the whole, uh, what's it called? Quicksilver ooze. Alright, well, I can probably just go down again, see what we've got. Oh, some more slime creatures. For me to blow up. What am I going to do against the Royal Jelly? Because I'm on the right level. I could just, like, uh, brilliant stuff or something. I'm not sure what the correct thing to do here is. Oh wait, one more level, right, it's fifth level, of course. What am I doing? <laughs> not sure if I need, like, a haste or not, but I feel like I'd probably need brilliance to take out the Royal Jelly with Manifold Assault. Um, but it does hit a decent number of guys, so maybe that's not too bad. I'll see what the power is on it. Is it still like 44? 43, why did they go down? Who knows? Anyway, I've, oh, I've lost, like, halfway magic points. I guess I'll still try with the brilliance, wherever that is. I don't think I had many of them. I got five now, that's more than I used to have. Well, when you look at that, oh, don't drain my magic points, dude. That's just mean.
All right, well, I think this is working out. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking like it's clearing them out pretty, uh, pretty easy. That the extra target definitely makes a difference there. You like to just kill it and kill him and teleport away. That's my normal strategy, except for some reason I didn't need to teleport out this time. I could just... Oh, he's still alive? I thought he was dead. Okay, then I guess I tried the kill him and teleport away strategy. Um... Oh, might just teleport? That was not the right time for that. Can I just dump a little bit of fear on these guys? Um... Yeah, that's a bit of a problem with that. Okay, didn't get it, all of them. I didn't get that many of them, now that I think about it. Um, okay. Minus teleport's gone. I'm a bit wounded, though. I think this is actually going to require uh, Blink, because it's a bit late for the teleport, unfortunately. But that was a shame. Yeah, that was all because my manifold assault decided to give me minus teleport. Uh, I've got it down 5% failure, but I haven't really got it reliable, unfortunately. So maybe just get like a little bit more translocation skill on uh, something. Let's see. Um, trading armor helped a bit. Oh, it's got a little bit of fighting as well. Not fighting spellcasting, the other one. Might at least be able to get it down to 4% or something. 3%, who knows. Oh, hey, not death talents, but this one's free though. Don't have to pay for like the other one. Um, I can drop the... Something. Probably the acquirement. What was that one? Oh, it's a dream shot. I'm not sure. I, I kind of like the, the idea of keeping around the dream shot, but I'll probably have to grab something up there eventually. Um, I don't think I want the Berserk. I mean, it's actually, it's an option. Actually, I kind of do want to carry that rather than taking thoughts. Um, Ring does serve a purpose. It's not worrying because it has, has my spellcasting. Brilliant serves a purpose. Yeah, that's the problem with, like, magic spellcasters. Usually I drop all my throwing things, but I haven't done that this time around. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just picked the straight back up. Uh... Okay... It's kind of the, the stragglers now. Dream Shard to trigger it on purpose? This is that dominance? <laughs> I mean, it, I don't know. Oh, there's a manual of armor. Nice. Get a couple more points of the armor, I guess. Kind of trading rather a lot of things right now. I'll probably end up grabbing the Dream Shard anyway, because it's not like it needs the money. It's the only thing on there that could really be useful, I think. Not sure if I'll actually end up using it. Alright, well, this, this is my last treasure vault, so I'll see what this is. It's, uh, oh, it's a clarity one. I don't think I need the clarity one. Magic regen, but minus 4 end? Come on, that's the wrong way around. It should be plus 4 end. I just think I'll get away without the clarity one. Let's get out of here before I get mal mutated. Yeah, those mutations look completely fine. Um, right, right. Right. I'm gonna try this on. 10 percent failure. Oh, I mean I can't add that for resistance. Those resistance are looking pretty good though. I'm just missing like one coal, one fire. That's fine. Um I haven't done Zot yet, I don't have done script yet. I might go do Zot. Where's that blizzard demon? There it is. Hey, I really love this game, these big groups. Maybe this is not too bad. There's poison resist cloak. I think I'm still wearing the scarf resistance to try and top those resist off a bit, which is not too bad an idea. Uh, what sort of point do I like specifically start going for that death tally? But I guess it's just whenever the other skills are ready. How's that damage anyway? 110. Might have gone down a little, but it doesn't look like it's gone down a little. It should have gone down a little when I swapped the um, rings around, but I don't know. It looks fine. I 
Hey, I think I just one entered an ancient ledge, so I was got a pretty lucky head on it. Um I got slightly more magic points for this ring on. I think I gave like nine magic points or like the usual amount. Manifold sort of such an anime spell. Just like enter dimensionally hitting me with clouds. I mean I guess that is a pretty pretty anime spell. It's such a fun like spell. I just hate the seventh level now. I mean, it's, I can still get it online for like standard, but like I wish I could do it more. Cause that was one of my favorite playstyles. It's uh, yeah. Oh, where are we going? I guess we're going to the staircase downstairs. Uh, I might just go up actually. Is there an over fire here, or is it just spiders? If it's just spiders, it's fine. Come on, let me get back. There we go. I said, I'm everywhere at all times, all at once, smack you in the face. <laughs> yeah, especially in, like the new version, they had so many targets, I guess it's kind of literally everywhere now. And it's weirdly, the weird that it's like worth doing what you're actually next to a creature as well. Um, now. Because it's got the 100% hurt, and I don't think I'm anywhere near 100% hurt. Like, this guy here has usually got only 50% to evade. Okay, I'm pretty good at hitting. But it still can't be worth it, even next to a guy just a manifold to sold it. I can't get the moth uh, yeah, the moth. Does the magical mage have a large attack? They do, they got a freezing large attack, and they haste themselves up and sometimes go and whack people with that one. Other times they hang back with their crystal spear, but usually they just run up and try and large attack them. Oh, they're doing alright. I mean, I'll probably eventually swap away from half the aquatic, but they're doing alright. Oh, what's that ring? It's probably some sort of artifact, ice one. It always is an artifact ice one. Wait, what? That's talisman. That's not what I'm after. Said floor stuff, floor junk. Ice intelligence, right? Yeah, we still have intelligence five, but I don't think it's worth grabbing. That's a death talisman. I might as well just take the mutation. Um, guess I'll grab the lignification, but I might not end up. Oh, God, wait. I got 10 lignification. Unless I go shining one, I'm not actually going to need that, am I? <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous levels, and I don't think I'm going shiny one. I think I'm going to try and get the death talisman. Um, what am I even going to do, like, as a portal on this character? Uh, not a portal, a title on this character. I haven't quite decided. Uh, I don't know, there might be something I can get. Let me just quickly check Audi titles. Uh... I think I've played a reasonable number of bodies by now, but, oh, uh, spot, I added the bot, oh, I added the bot earlier today, but it's not there anymore, is it? Um, I need to add it back. Yeah, I remember, I remember adding it, alright. Oh, whoops, ah, what am I doing? Loblo bot, there we go. Uh, F for the bot. Yeah, I think so. F for the bot. Let's, uh, got lost. I think it's got all inactive for a long time. What, what do you mean, no keyboard? I probably, I copy pasted that. I probably copy pasted it wrong. Okay, so I've had, um, none of these are really specific ones. I've had Distorting Oni, which I think is Legato. Balster, which is from throwing. Oddy Child, which is the Hepley Aquata one, so I've already had the Hepley Aquata one. Oddy Mishap, which is a low piety, um, Hep, no, not Hep, Quasla one. Shapeless, which is shape shifting. Alright. That doesn't leave a lot of options, does it? <laughs> um. Are there any other? There's probably some other gods which I've got like the low tier zero piety titles on. Um, they can go grab. 
and just have the last second on the old run, I reckon that's probably the thing to do. Because I reckon I'm just going to go, like, uh, I'm kind of tempted to just go, with, like, sip on the, uh, in extended after... After I get my talisman going, because then I won't be able to drink magic potions and stuff. That's how kind of fun. All right. All right, checking what uh, titles you got, Oni. Uh, not Oni. McKinnon again. Got a Slayer. That's a fighting one. Yeah, was, uh, have I had that one on Oni? I feel like that one. Oh, I have. I think I got it accidentally on an Oni when, um, when I couldn't quite get a title as after. Such an easy one to get on the Oni. But they got such a good aptitude. I found Skull Crusher. Man, I, I mean, it wouldn't be quite right for this character because I Manifold Assault. I don't know if I've ever had a character get a Skull Crusher going. It sounds interesting. Because it's not like Spike, right? It's just a normal giant club, but it's like speed, so it should still be good. Uh, I'm kind of curious, like, how good that would be. What's I marked right now? If I just move back. Right, that's all the stuff I tried to wild mic. And they're all around me, so I can just like manifold assault them. That's so fun when they all like uh, get on the screen at once and they just manifold assault and they all get hit. Alright, what's the way down? Uh, I got one more level on, I'm not gonna do it completely. Um, so I've got the revelations. Yeah, I just gotta do the area outside of the entrance there. Um I probably should lignify. I lose a bit of armor class, right? I actually don't lose much armor class. Oh, no fire and cold resist. I see how that is. Oh. Try and move back, but I can get constricted here. Actually, I think I'm fine. For some reason, that dude, uh, I think random energy, that dude just decided to move back. I'm gonna go manifold something with that flame mace that emulates things. Oh, I know the one, the... Oh, what's it called? The, the Great Mace that, like, just emulates dudes. That actually does sound kind of fun. I wonder how, like, well it scales to later on in the game. Oh, what did I do? I think I just accidentally pressed the button. I think it just lists them, like, what sort of armor I'm wearing or whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Toss out a manual of armor. Wait, where am I going with this armor skill? 22? I might stop it at 21. Just because I, I was basically going so high just because I had a manual, so... There was no downside of going that high. Well, not really. It was pretty cheap and worthwhile. Hey, I'm down to 3% fail on my spell, though. And <laughs> still, still at the point where it's like, stop me from moving. That's kind of funny. Even at 3%, I missed cards still a uh, problem. Firestarter. Yeah, that's the one. I wonder how much damage a Firestarter does. Oh, it's like 50 damage. No wonder I'm not using it. Yeah, I mean, this is over double damage. Um, Tight delay, wait, one, did that say? It shouldn't have a Oh, it's heavy. No wonder this was so high, right? No, it makes sense. Anyway, what do I want? I want to get the shape shifting. I'm just going to start on that one, get it up to 23 or whatever it needs. Pretty sure it's 23 for a death tally, but I know it's quite a lot. Uh, yeah, okay, the mutations are fine so far, um... I'll keep with Heavenly Aquatic at the moment. And I'll go to the Crypt. And I don't want, need to worry about picking up the Shining One because I'm getting the Death Talisman. Alright. Come on, Die Curse Scout, there we go. I'm effectively only like 93% chance of heading because of the 3% miscast chance. That's still not too bad. And I think I got two resist negative just for a random ring. What do I want? I actually kind of want the dex. I know it's not that helpful, but like it uh, stops it being dis so dangerously low. I mean, it's still kind of dangerously low on 7, but it's better to be on 5 and go into one of the hells with 5. Dags, because then it could get drained like five just by going down one of the hell levels or something. <laughs> you know, out of decks, and that's always bad running to stat zero when you enter a hell level. Have I actually had that happen before? I know I've gone to stat zero in Pandemonium. Uh, I definitely had to do ring swapping shenanigans to try and save myself in hell, though. 
Uh, no other girls like Mag Levels batting not worse. Um, I will abandon. Uh, I want. So if you abandon Heflake one, you don't get XP for a while. So I'm gonna wait till I get the shape shifting, and then I'm gonna abandon. I think. But yeah, definitely other gods are more worthwhile. I might. I'm actually kind of tempted on like Sif Mana. I don't know if I should, but it would allow me to like do endless manifold assaults, which is always fun. All right, got a few magic points. There we go. Uh. Is it a hybrid? Yeah, and I could, uh... I mean, the Divine Axe of Jesus might also be nice with, like, the Shatter and stuff, uh, if I've even got that one. But, of course, it would take a little while to build. I actually had Hells was pretty quick, building up the party on Sith Minor. It just kind of turns up. Right, I also had, uh... Oh, seven Shape Shifting. Yeah, it's got a... We've got a bit to go there. I think there was a curse going there for a second. It didn't live very long. It just got bopped over the head. Alright, here we are. Well, more magic points. I don't seem to be often taking a lot of damage. I often seem to be running out of magic points. Which is kind of another reason why like, Sif Mana sounds really good. Because I do, like... What is it? When I've got magic points, I'm effectively doing... I mean, it depends on how big a crowd there is. But... I can easily be doing, like, two or three times the damage. In a bigger crowd, it can be even more. Oh, the invisible dude isn't there. <sighs> that would be an astronomy one advantage. You can see the invisible guys, but no. I've done, uh, I think I've done my, more than my fair share of shining one characters. <laughs> That's probably the entrance to the crypt around here, behind all these mummies. Uh, not crypt, I'm in the crypt, the tomb. The other one. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Like, when those guys just decide to try and surround me, it's so funny just watching them all die. I think the only other character I've managed to successfully get Manifold Assault on was, like, unarmed, so they weren't punching quite a They didn't hit as many targets, so I didn't really get to do, like, the full targeting of the Manifold Assault. Uh... Are the Okamaru to TSO pipeline is so tempting every time? Yeah, Jorahs. And it's like a fairly reliable one because like you don't have to care about uh fighting death form or anything either. You could just oh I got death door, that could be useful if I ever go uh Sith Mana. You just kinda do your thing. Uh, this is definitely clearing up pretty quick. All right. How much XP do I have? It says I'm on 12. No, I only got like half the XP I needed or something. Probably even less, actually, because it gets uh, more expensive. There we go. This is the tomb. All right. Well, uh, it's time to go to... Is it just time to go to Pandemonium? I've got four runes, right? Oh, I suppose it's time to go to Pandemonium. In that case, um... I'm gonna get Mal mutated, but oh well. Oh, hey there, Hellion Island. That's fine, even if I'm gonna struggle to get my magic points back. Let's, uh, let's get a Hellion in view. Or a tall bunch of aliens, that's probably enough aliens. Are they gonna heal up again? Alright, Hellion. Oh, there's a pandemonium lord, that'll do. Can I even fly? I mean, I've got the... Do I even have the apportation? Hold up, how do I even get on this island? Um, I've probably got a rig, right? Right? I gotta have something. Um, 
I mean, I can probably get on with the transference if I need to. If I don't have any other options. Oh, I don't have any other options. So I got to tell my ancestors to uh, treat. All right, that'll do. <laughs> there we go. Got myself a rune. Let's uh, continue on, I guess. Yes, that's kind of budget flying. You've got the ancestor delivery. All right, next level. Don't think this is anything special, but I do have my demonic rune already, which is nice. It's always great when you get greeted by a rune, because then you know you're at least going to get one. Are you farming XP for a certain title? Um, not really. I haven't actually decided on uh, title. I was just going to get some low piety god one from some random god. But no, at the moment, I'm just trying to... You know, actually, that's a good point. If I only went with four runes, I wouldn't have managed to get a unique title. So I guess, I uh, kind of. But it's mainly because I got Manifold Salt going, and I don't get to use that much now as the seventh level spell. Oh, Dark Rune. What's the plan here? Can I just, like, quaff a Brilliance and a Lignification? How many haste do I have? Eleven. Huh. I feel like uh, Brilliance and Lignification is going to do the trick, though. Wow, how many, uh, I don't need these brand weapons, but how many has this game given me? It must have given me, like, so many. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, apparently. And plus the seventh one, because I used one to brand up this weapon. I got heavy on the first try, so, like, uh, no need to do that. And says the Ubers here, yeah. <laughs> just get the, yeah, for their deliveries. <laughs> Do you want to ride over some lava? It's called Ancestor Uber. <laughs> yeah, definitely going standard with this character. No, it's so, it's so good having the metaphor assault. I wonder how I am with, like, teleports and stuff. I've got 16. All right, that's, uh, that's fine. Sometimes you end up going here with almost no teleports, and uh, pandemonium will eat away at your teleports. Also, not letting me get my magic back. All right, that's the way in. Uh... Those little skulls, there's no point in me fighting them. My answers has got them well, truly dealt with. All right. Getting reasonably close. I think now's when I pop the brilliance. I'll pop the... Uh, I'll pop a bite. Alright. Uh, swap places with my ancestor. Lignify up so that I don't uh, get tormented, whatever that one is. But it does reduce my defenses. Although I do get some health out of it, which is something, I guess. Oh yeah, no problems there with Glorix block. Oh, is it about to get Glorix, see Glorix Blood get smacked by a tree? It's kind of funny how, like, it's a tree versus a pandemonium Blood, the tree always wins. Well, not always. I think I have died to Glorix Blood before, maybe. Um. Let me actually test that. I'll have to bot that command, see what it tells me. I've died once to Glorix Vlog, okay. I wonder which character that was. I wonder what they were doing when they died. He can hit hard, he can do his torment. Oh, that's a log. So it was an Avatar Cinderac who like, turned 70,000? Huh. I like vaguely remember the death, but I don't really remember the character. They don't sound that familiar. Oh, right, Jake, if you died to Glorious Vlog, looks like you've managed to escape, escape with your life so far. Oh, wait, where am I doing? Just randomly exploring, I guess, at this point, right? 
because I, I haven't seen a way on or anything, nothing to kind of hint at where I need to go just yet. Oh, still more guys. Let's melee some of these dudes. Hey, there we go. That's the way on. So I think that was my second rune so far. Oh, if I go this way, I get a pandemonium lord. I sure do. Okay, it does mind burst for 1d72 damage? Sure. Oh, tomb, uh, tree form voice kill you, tomb. What type of character were you? Because I guess uh, not being able to escape can also can always be a problem. Um, yeah, because it doesn't like, leave you a lot of options, but I still find it tends to work with certain characters pretty well. Oh, uh, well, due to your stupidity, but your. Dumbness thought tree form is smart and use it in the middle of tomb three while getting bombarded by summons. I well it depends on the character. I actually like to use it while surrounded in tomb three. But that's mainly with shiny one characters, some of the and some of the mages, but other characters absolutely get killed if they do that. Um but I think I've died once with uh using tree form and tomb. But that was before I really knew what I was doing in tomb. Hey, ooh, glowing rune. Oh, glowing rune. This is where I get mal mutated. Uh, can I not get mal mutated? How much? Oh, it's fifty percent health. <sighs> it's wildly ridiculous, but I gotta put it on. I don't know. Is that is that too ridiculous? I don't have a lot of health. Maybe I should take this off. Um. <laughs> Usually, audience, their thing is all about having health. Um, you know what I'm gonna actually do? I'm gonna do, oh, this a bite. I'm gonna not do the boss chamber. I'm gonna do everywhere apart from the boss chamber because I'm gonna revelations this, and I'm gonna see how much health I'm up to whether I have to take off the form or not. <laughs> I hope not. Tomb three tree form is pretty good if you're in a corner. Just need tons of firepower, like sustain. Yeah, because the shiny one gives you health and magic back every time you kill a mummy, so like you're you're good basically. I mean sometimes you have to drink a healing potion if you get particularly low, but it's like not bad. Um another one is like either shiny one or behuman mages. If they have big spells like shadow or something, can sometimes just tree form up, although they've been on staircases. So they can leave in a hurry if they need to. Um and then you get the, like, the single target fighters, and they really struggle. <laughs> they really have to have the death oh, form, otherwise they're in big trouble, I think. I played all high mark, and they got mined again. It was actually a relatively tame mark, like, it didn't even pull in that many things. Okay, yeah, got 150 health. Um, 152 health. It's not even that much. I'm kind of running out of things to kill, though. Oh, I suppose I go kill with 150 health. I don't know. I was going for when you get mine to game. I mean, it's good uh, for when I don't get mine to, but yeah, it's uh, very appropriate if I if I get mine. Or if, uh, if it would be really bad if I did get mine. It's appropriate for that too, right? Okay. Like if I just got shafted or something. How's that draining? Just a little bit of end. I should be fine with that. My uh, attributes need to be keeping up. You hate the summons? Those summons are summons super spammy with creatures, isn't it? I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the rework of this level. Because it was always kind of nasty with like all the mal mutations, but now it's just kind of spammy with the creatures too. I gotta retreat back here, I think. Not enough mutation potions. I think for the boss fight I might leave my form, but yeah, I mean I've still got actually I've got a few, right? Um oh. Alright, I think it's time for me to like end my form, put on oh I gotta get my health back. Getting really close. I might put on the brilliance and the maybe I'll drink a case as well.
That like got a lot more health. Hey, there's my no like. And all their mild mutated glory. Thankfully, they didn't live too long. I've actually got 12 mutation potions, which is not terrible. I could probably even try like for some positive ones before I, uh. Well, before I go to hell or something. Or before I, uh, just before I put my lich form on a bit more permanently. You know what? I'm putting that lich form back on. Actually, you know, I'm gonna try for a positive mutation and then put it back on. So, whatever about the mutation potions. I'm agile. Oh, I'm frail. That's a shame. I'm strong. But I think I might just reset those again. I've got willpower, cold, and strength. Cold is not really needed. Willpower is not really needed. I strength will arrive, but I'm gonna try this again. Uh, scales, coldness, fingernails. All right. Ah, eh, that's all right. Nothing like massively special, but that's something. I think grab the rune, right? It would have warned me if I didn't have it right. So I got the magical one. I got the fiery one. Oh. Wait. Is this not a holy level? No, it can't be. Got some non holy things on it. I just thought when I saw the angels, like, oh, it's just a uh, lich formed up for a holy level here, but no, it's uh, it's fine. And I think the loss of health is like currently worth it for the immunity to torment, because the immunity, well, torment does a lot to me. Especially since I got the whole like uh, harm on, which it does uh, get increased by that. Holy Pagans is special entrance of, uh, no, it does mass message on entry. It gets someone about tension in the air, right? Yeah, that's true. I don't think there's much good in there. I mean, it's a potion of heal wounds, but trying is not that tempting this time around. Usually that trade is really tempting, but it's like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. But this time around, it's just like, eh, whatever. All right. Oh, there's a, there's a portal. Let me go take one of these. 20 skill. Only three more skill. Oh, finally, I've got this form actually not reducing my health. Should definitely be nice. Oh, we've got a little portal leading down. That's what I'm after, right? Because I'm after... Which level? Magical level or... I know there was another one. Was it fiery? I don't remember doing the fiery one with this character. So those are uh, those little uh, whatever they called the hell beast guys with the blue claws. They're a replacement for both the Lord Cypricans and the old Hell Beasts, or the Sin Beasts, whatever they call these days. It's kind of interesting because the Lord Cypricans they were like perfectly invisible, so not not quite the same as the new ones that drain magic. But I feel like the the new like Hell Beast guys, the Sin Beasts, are actually fairly reasonable with their draining of magic when they get close. Like, it's not ridiculous. It's not like Ghost Moth ridiculous. That's just still another non rude branch, isn't it? Hey, that's actually the nice thing about those death forms. They get to, like, slow things and weaken them. It's great when I manifold solving them. Because I can kind of spread that debuff around to, like, a ton of different dudes around me. And even with those magic regen on, my magic points are not keeping up. This is where you need the Sif mana. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think that's a... Is that a boss fault? This looks too small to be a boss fault, but it might be one. I guess it is. That's Pandemonium Lord. There it is. Oh, it's got lots of health sigils. It does Bolt of Fire, which I got two or just against the fire. Summon Greater Demon. Alright. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad, after all. And there's probably, there's almost certainly a portal on through here somewhere. There it is. Most pandemonium lords do have the portals on, so. Yeah, it's nice. Oh. I can't move an amount of magic. That's a little unfortunate. Anyway. Got, uh, summon forest notches. 
Okay, nauseous something, nauseous bog, I guess. That's the only nauseous smell I know about. Uh, where are these runes? Gotta be in here somewhere, I guess I just gotta keep it exploring. Hey, there's a portal, at least. It's a fiery rune. How do I get another fire resist? That would be... Oh, I'm really close to rune, aren't I? That would be kind of nice. Did I drop my fire resist ring or something? That was uh, maybe a little bit silly of me. I don't think I've got a fire resist item on me. I mean, maybe I could chug a potion. Yeah, like... Oh. I could an elemental stuff without noticing? I guess I did. Because I just ran over all the stuff, like, oh, these don't even matter. That was an elemental stuff. If I had a stayed as a mage, I would have got an elemental stuff, but, like, I, I'm perfectly happy to be the fighter. Lower rolling on the rune levels? I sure was. No, I mean, I got it quite a few early on, and then I just got tons of levels in a row that were not anything. Uh, not. Oh. These dudes stab my magic? Come on. That's just mean. Wait, it's one of the little weapon dudes. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize you got those in Pandemonium. But those were the ones that I saw in, like, Zot 5 or something. Should you invade the Shiny One Fortress? It's like, a uh, Paul? Um, <laughs> will I even get it? I mean, I guess I can refund the points if I don't get the Shiny One Fortress. What? Paul. Give me a Paul. Thank goodness, it's finally doing it. Uh... Uh I guess the answers will be yes, no, unless you have any other ones. Uh let's just go with yes and no. The basic answers. How long? Oh, 10 minutes sounds like a reasonable length of time. I don't know if I'll get the shiny one fortress in that time or not, but I think it's unlikely. Oh, we sap sap my magic again. Stop doing that, guy. I need my uh, ability to cast. Apparently those ones just used to give you, like, minus wizardry or something. Are we going for 50 runes? We are. Definitely are. Um, it's tank man. T tank man. I, I can say the right thing. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, we've got uh, seven so far, so we've still got a few to collect. We're almost halfway there. That's the wrong side, isn't it? Like, if I want the rune, it's right on the other side. But I'll still go look in here, see what there is. Stuff of Doom? I mean, it's alchemy stuff. I did do alchemy for a while, right? Like, you got the whole uh, irradiate, but I don't do that anymore. You go on fast? I think this character this character is actually making some decent progress. Maybe not in terms of turn count, but like oh, this uh Cerebob, I should have I should have buffed up a little bit. It's fine. I'm probably just gonna have to teleport out and then put on the buffs. Yeah. I mean I got rid of actually like half his health, so maybe I don't need the buffs after all. Um This is actually not working. I'm gonna teleport again. Oh, I miscast. Uh, that's a bit better. Um, I don't have any regen, which might be a problem with Sarah buff. Uh, oh, yeah, I definitely have to put on the buffs if I don't have any regen, I think. All right. Stop the form. Which ones? I mean, I can do a lot of them. I can do the haste. I can do the brilliance, I think. That's probably enough. Let's uh, fall back up. That'll probably kill him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's struggling to stay alive. Especially with that, yeah, the magic points is all I really needed. Excellent. So he's dead. I finally got the shapeshifting. Right, what do I need? So I've got the armor. I've got the mason flails. Okay, I might actually get the mason flails and some fighting. Um... <laughs> Doesn't help me with getting like titles or anything, but oh, I might get the armor as well to 24. But those are all definitely useful skills. I don't think I can get an armor one, can I? Certainly can't get a Mason Flails one. 
Uh, can't get a fighting one. Oh well. Terrible thoughts. Though. Wait, I do want that ring of flight actually. I'll take it, thoughts. I can drop the. Oh, I've got so many throwing weapons. That's filling up my inventory. Should have left the. Ah, don't need the berserk rage. I'm never going to be using that one. Uh, wait, polymorph was the one I was after. I was after the flight ring. So I don't have to use my. Um... Ancestor delivery or whatever it is that I had to use before. Get over lava. Uh, I f I'm pretty sure after you pick out the rune, like a whole bunch of things spawn because it always feels like it. I, I'm missing one, right? I'm missing the, yes, yeah, so I can't just go to Pandemonium, that's a shame. Hey, there we go. Uh, next time on the, the abyss, I mean, I can't just head to the abyss. Hey, there's a rune here. Um, am I missing any resistance? Well, I probably want to be buffed up with some, uh, probably the same old things like haste and brilliance when fighting this boss as well. Alright, well, I'm on the right track to get to the boss at least. Oh, let's blow up some of these guys. I haven't abandoned my ancestor, uh, like, uh, yet, but once I finish Pandemonium, I think I will. I think I might just grab Sif Mana, because that sounds like a bunch of fun. Um, I gotta, I gotta have to check God Title soon, because I actually haven't got the invocations yet. Uh, which was something I meant to get, but I'll do that soon. Man, actually, you know what, I might do that right now with invocations. I got to 6, let's get it to like, 20? Seems like plenty, right? Not enough for a title just yet, but... A Lomlo Bob's cousin? Wait, who's Lomlo Bob's cousin? The, uh, the big eyeball in a robe, I mean, that's basically Lob Low Bond, right? Massive eyeball in a robe. Uh, I don't think I get it, that potion. Oh, it probably doesn't matter, it's just a potion of, uh, enlightenment. Come on, let me get my magic bag. Pandemonium is always such a slog getting through the levels. Uh, I think I'm going to go a bit further before I reach the Pandemonium Lord here. Oh, or oh, maybe not. <laughs> um, how do I get rid of big, uh, big evil guy in Lob Lobon? Uh, might just have to teleport out, but I guess I'll try the Manifold Salt first. I did a decent amount of damage, but it's not going to be enough for the amount of magic points. Yeah, I guess I just do a teleport, actually. Oh, so- oh, there we go. Lob Lobon's dead, okay. <laughs> they didn't need the teleport after all. But it was good to have as a, like, a safety thing. Uh, oh, if we get it back, 15 is perfectly fine. So I got 9 runes, so I need to go to the Abyss, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go, there's the Abyss entrance. Uh, I mean, yeah, I gotta go through the abyss to get out of Pandemonium anyway. Alright, so I can switch to the Godu, which I don't think is the plan. Uh, I do have the magic region at least, otherwise I'm pretty sure I'd run out of magic points all the time in here. Alright, I'm on level 1, so I don't start very deep, because I think this is my first time in the abyss with this character. Sure, I'll take the way out. I have to go back to the abyss, but I can go swap to Sif now, I think. That's uh, quite, it's not time to level 3, it's quite a long way up. Alright, let's do this. Goodbye, happily Aquata, you'll be best. Goodbye, uh, what's the name, like, Violta or something? My ancestor? Anyway. Guess it's back to the abyss, right?
Sif Monster must have like so many leches watching them because like oh my character doesn't end up Sif Monster or if they end up as leches. Like they're technically not an evil god according to like some like the shining ones, but they do have an army of leches worshiping them. I mean, I guess they don't stand for nothing evil. They just stand for doing magic. <laughs> right, where's the where's the portal? Gotta be, gotta be a portal at some point. Um. Do I? I don't get sick as a lich. I'm pretty sure that doesn't make any sense. Hey, there we go. That's finally a portal down. So this leads to level two. And it's level three that I've got to be on. I think I only go down to level three with this character. I don't feel like I'm massively suited to be doing the Abyss or anything. Alright, can I do it? I can do a Channel Magic now if I want to. So it's a good position to be in. Game way leading out. Oh, you know what? I'll take it and I'll go straight back in. Let's <laughs> get my magic points back using that. Hey, there we go. That's the way down. So, any runes? Not yet. I would take the other way down, though. So, with the abyss, it just kind of pays to, like, uh, travel along in basically one direction. And tell you to take the rune, that seems to be the most effective. Because then, uh, so the more, like, new tiles you explore, the more likely you are to find the rune. And if you, uh, like, go back to an area you've already been, you sometimes see some of the old tiles you've already looked at. Hey, that looks good. I don't think I actually had the apportation yet. Uh, you know, I'll challenge the magic. Hey, the, the, oh, the phone was for yes for the Shiny One's Fortress, but unfortunately I never found the Shiny One's Fortress at the time I spent in Pandemonium. <laughs> Man, I think I'll just give you all points back on that poll there, because uh, unfortunately... Oh man, there's 11 things for review? Oh, that's just uh, automatic ones. Okay, where's the poll? Uh... Refund. There we go. So I got a play combo one here I haven't marked. Did I do that one? Did we go down? I'm pretty sure I did that one. Alright, there we go. Everything's mined is complete or refunded as necessary. Where do I want to go? Um, it's basically hell time. I don't think there's anywhere else for this character to go. I'm gonna challenge the magic, just so I can stay down here. Okay, there's a lot of creatures, but uh I'm making my most of the manifold assault being able to hit multiple dudes. Alright, then once I bring them back up, it hits a lot of stuff. Uh... Whoa! Oh no, it can't move. Um... That's okay, but it's not ideal. Hey, there we go, it can move again. Unfortunately, I'm fragile. Um, I think that, I think I should throw in a blink scroll, because that's kind of not a great situation. Yeah, the minus move is still really questionable. Um... And no matter how far I get into the game, it's uh, still really questionable. Especially when you're trying to stand on. Okay. It's looking like it's calmed down a bit. Uh... Did I get a treasure drop? Because I kind of feel like it did. What's the power all the wrong menus? It's this one here, I should say. And it needs plus three shadow dragon scales. Um, I mean, there's nothing to me getting in that one now, I think. So I can go drop, uh, something. Ah, drop the boomerang. Keep the large rocks. Alright, so I have some enchant armor, right? Uh, there it is. Don't know how to get that, it's because, um... Water in the way. Apparently, it's helps there to just be able to fly because I know I 
blew up to the second sub stage. Right, so I'll drop the potions, scrolls, head on it, see what we've got. There's more potions, scrolls, I mean, it's a box, it's a spousal. Oh, Yara is something I do want. Um, I don't think I'll be able to cast it just yet. Wait, does this spousal say it's castable? How does that cast? Oh, right, Transigate is, like, super high right now, that makes sense. I guess I get some gels, Gravot. I guess I get some Vice. Anyway, when I say Yards, it's probably not castable yet. Oh, it's 100% failure. The, the Yards is really nice, because it's the only way of, like, cancelling out when you're in Lich form. Oh, there's Manual Translocations. A little later on the Manual Translocations. Is it worth saving a requirement, or do they get better as you wait? It's not really worth saving them. Uh, if I have one, it's probably because it's bad. Um... <laughs> I mean, I think they, uh, sometimes you might want to save them, it's based on, I don't think they exactly get better, but what they give is based on the skills you have. So if you, say, you wanted to be one-handed, and you hadn't got any shield skill, it might be worth grabbing, like, 10 shield skill before you first read the scroll. And I think that will, um, yeah, because I think it generates when you first read it. But yeah, otherwise they're not worth saving. Which hell do I want to do first? Probably Tartarus. That's the answer it does. Because the Tartarus I have mute to basically everything is spawned from Dispel and Dead, which should be fine. Alright. Let's just go in. I still, I'm still on the Hepley Acquired Wrath. Uh, these don't look too bad. It's just, oh, that one's gonna do Torment. Well, Torment. Damnation. But that's pretty much the only threat in here. I can't be held, right? Because, um, yeah, I did just get held. I very much can't be held. Oh, right, see invisible. Uh, yeah, whatever. I just want to go down again. Um... That doesn't feel too bad yet. I think go to go Tartar Spurs is definitely the right place to go. Uh that looks questionable, but I'll see how the manifold salt deals. Fairly well. I don't know what these invisible guys are though. I might actually teleport because I don't know what these invisible guys are. Oh, they slowed me. There are, there's an invisible guy up here. Did I not kill it? Oh. Is that something a lich or is it something less harmful than a lich? I don't know. Wait, do I have a, I've got to have a sea invisible somewhere that I can put on. So I've got the resist corrosion sea invisible on there. I just got a basic sea invisible. Am I wearing the, oh, I didn't bring it with me though. I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to live with the fact that I can't see it in here. I mean, those are probably just like shadow rays. They're probably nothing too bad. But they were kind of adding up their damage before when they were all around me. Oh, by the way, if you're curious about those rune doors, you can clear the floor and mark yourself. You'll be safe but force the enemies to move. Oh, right. No, that's a good point now because the doors inside, they can go open them up. And I think they always could, but now the outside doors are see-through. I might as well get the blink now. I've got it. Um. I gotta get rid of that invisible dude. Um. I dropped down a shaft, though, that keeps me going. I guess I don't get to find out what's behind the doors, so though. Not if I'm getting shafted. Uh, let's just head to the staircase. I'm still currently mic'd. Oh, I'm worried about that. Yeah, this guy. It's fine if it's on its own. Alright. Oops. I don't know why I brought up some sort of menu there, but it's fine. I'm a little drained, but it is fine just to go down. It just goes down to the last level. How are you invisible dudes again?
Wait. Okay. And you I kind of figured out where it was. Uh, because unfortunately this character does have to, like, target the right spot to kill the creature. Uh... Problem with the Nerish Kigo is what I've got to find out here is that she is, um... She does the whole silence thing, which is kind of nasty for me. I think this is just a treasure room, unfortunately. I'll kill her out some of it, I guess. Kill her out Clara as much as this level for teleporting as I want to. Oh, right, silence. I hope it's not in the boss chamber. There might just be a silent race sitting around. Well, there's definitely a silent race sitting around there somewhere, but it might be sitting in the boss chamber. Where am I getting hit from? That's an unseen horror. It looked like it was darting around randomly, but I could be wrong on that. Okay, where's the silent race? I don't actually know where this is. Cause I'm gonna have to like melee all these guys until I find it. Sorry, this guy that does the spell is dead. Oh. I think I just attack it again, but that was actually getting me quite wounded. Right, so it is a problem having this this uh this guy here. Well, I don't have a lot of options when I silence up because I can't exactly use uh potions. I can't use scrolls while silence, so it kind of strips away all my options. Yeah, that's the boss chamber. I'll just back up a little bit. I probably want to buff up with a few buffs before I go in there. So many invisible dudes. All right. So let's put on at least haste, I think. So, um, if I got haste, I should probably have brilliance to go with it. Uh, do I have anything else I want to put on? That's probably good. So let's do that. Put on my form. Ah. So like case of brilliant stuff on this and rune so I can just go get it and get out of this horrible silent stuff place. Oh well speaking of horrible silent stuff place, there's the silent race. Well I've got rid of it now. Let's get out of here though. Um I think I go with the icy hell. I got cold with this, but like can I get a can I get a fly that doesn't impact when I'm doing too much? There's that one. I lose some cold resist. Um, might be all right. I feel like my cold resist is overflowing. Oh, maybe not. It might leave me one shot. Um, let's give it a try. No cold resist is still fine. So I lost a little bit of armor class, I think. No, I gained a little bit of armor class. That's actually just good, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't need this cold resist anymore. Let's not put that one on the floor. Uh. But the flies exit for getting to the walls so I can dig into the walls, which I often have to do. Oh, hey, little, little gift. I got some pile driver. I mean, I guess I'll get the pile driver. Add to my collection of spells, but I feel like the metaphor solves my main spell. Although, that being said, the spells could be useful. Um. At least this hell doesn't take away the ability to cast from me, so I should be good with that. Right, there we go, that's the way to go down. In fact, I think the boss of this is going to be fairly easy, because the main drawbacks is no potions and, like, ever lich, so I don't actually care. And also I've got uh, Sith Mana to, like, channel and magic, so... I can just keep a manifold sorting all day. How's my health going? Going alright. Get drained slightly. Oh, whoops, channel magic's gone. I thought that was still going, but that's fine. Uh, channel's still going now. Oh, just channeling some. It's not like I'm trying to party. That's kind of what you do at this point of the game. You just channel magic and channel magic and channel some more. 
Well, this battlefield assault's really effective, like with the big air it sweeps through. Uh, that's fine. There we go. Don't really want to see the charge rice, right? but I do get them slowed, which is something at least. What is my damage? It's feeling good. 115 plus hub, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I can go down now. I've got all my max health and everything back. Got all my magic points back. I started channel magic early on. Otherwise, I probably will run out of magic. Alright, book of displacement. I don't even remember what's in that particular book. Just last and beckoning, that's probably not needed. What's a fun combo you played recently? Looking for inspiration. Ooh, what's something fun? Um, I'm trying to even remember what I played recently. I know I've done some unarmed characters recently. Uh, what is something that's been really fun? I had a character doing Magnavolt, I can't even remember what they were. I feel like there was some kind of deep elf, but I can't even remember what they started, so I don't think it really mattered. Um, <laughs> they were probably just like a deep elf, like, mage of some variety. I think they were actually an ice elementalist, and that was a lot of fun. Oh, come on. Kill the guy. There we go, so, uh... Nothing stopped me just going straight for the rune here, because I... Can fly, so I could go over the water. Well, I say straight for the room, but it's, I mean, it's a lot quicker. If you can't fly, you have to wander around, like, all the way around the outside or something. Till you get, like, halfway around. Then you go on the inside, and you come back. And then you go on the inside. And so, uh, yeah, it's a long way if you can't fly. Oh, they hate Cosinus. I find, like, if you can get your... Oh, I should get Invocations. I should try for a title based on that one. If you can get the necromutation going, it's not too bad. But yeah, so a lot of characters struggle with Cosinus. That's not this character though, because they got the necromutation and they're just hitting everyone with a giant spike club. Oh, there's all the, all the little guys, all the guys that like to hit you with the airstrike, I think. Two chemists dance? Um, uh, I don't want to worry about that one. Alright, where's the boss? He's gotta be here. Actually, I guess before I find the boss, I'm gonna have to find like, all the ice fiends that guard the boss. But that's not too bad. Yeah, there's one of the ice fiends that was probably guarding the boss. Or trying to make Formist and Stafford work somehow. They have good stealth and are great fighters. Uh, when not trying to stab. I don't know, I struggle with stabbers. Like, uh, I find the only stabbers I can, like, somewhat reliably get to work are the Cobalt ones with their reduced vision. Especially Cobalt and Wujin. Or you Wujin ones, strands on Dex or, like, Formist and I've done Dex based ones, or, like, Archer ones. I don't know if I've done a... I might have done a sword-based one. It's, uh, it helps their shield down, like, if you can get a big tower shield. Although, is there even a... Is there even a two-handed stabbier weapon apart from Gyre and Gimbal? That could be a bit of a problem for Formsons. I don't feel like it works very well to their advantage. Unless you get Gyre and Gimbal, then maybe you can make a stabber. Whoops, I didn't mean to move next to that guy. That's fine. I got a, got a method of not being next to this guy. Man, I got multiple methods because I got the special as well. Alright, well, you know what, I might get the dispersal try, actually. No, it's a good blink. No, I'll disperse the guy, whatever. There we go, I mean, uh, Nantaeus is not going to be a match with this character, because he's mainly, he does most of the damage in melee, he does summit range, but, yeah, definitely not a match. Uh... Oh hey, thanks for the follow there, full stop stash? I have, oh is that full stop slash? Sorry, gotta get it right the second time. I appreciate that one. 
Hope your day's been good and Crawl's been treating you well. If you've been playing Dungeon Crawl, giving you lich form as it's meant to do. Uh, it's always what seems to be the problem with me going to the extent. It's like, hey, no lich forms today. Why am I trying to go anyway? Gehenna, I'd say just tomb. I might do the tomb. I'm not perfect in the tomb. But I got lich form. It will help. Oh, the manifold salt hitting multiple like lots of guys now is uh, also going to help, I guess. I don't have a shield, which is generally not a great idea in here, but I think I've got, got a decent selection of stuff going for me. Or this is good so I can emulate things if I need to. Alright, the, the bad new guys, they love to do the whole um, holy wrath attacks, I think. They're probably not the worst thing in here. I could shatter my way in. Uh, in fact, I might actually. I'll clear out the first level, then I think I'll shatter open one of these walls and go in that way. Uh, that way, like when I'm doing the second level, I might be able to. I don't know. Or oh, I need to use the teleports, it'll save me something. Oh, there's an invisible dude up here. I guess I just... I like try to walk into it. Um, that's sort of working. I was Sage? Is that actually... That's a title. I'll give it... I'll let the max out. And I'll just get, uh, whatever. I don't know. More Mason Flails or something. <laughs> just had a little bit harder. But it looks like I'm doing fairly well. I should get a little bit of dodging. I got nine, no, I got nine decks. I don't even know if that's worthwhile. Maybe like five points or something, but <laughs> nothing serious with the dodging. Okay, so I need to be over here. Okay, Sif Mata, give me the shatter going. Hey, that looks like it did the trick. Put a hole in that wall. Oh, I should tell us the magic. There's, uh, was it Kufu or something? I don't know. I'll keep on, uh, keep on telling in the magic and just killing these mummies. Maybe it was just some more royal mummies or something. Alright, gotta figure out which one of these down staircases leads to where I want it to go. You can sometimes tell, but not always. My dex is looking kinda sad right now. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. Oh, it's come back to four, but it's still looking kinda sad. Alright, let's get, um... Yeah, let's just get Mason Flails. Oh, um, uh, and fighting at the same time. It doesn't really matter which ones I get. What have we got for Dex? Let's see. It's a natural straight up Dex ring. I mean, I guess that's something. I think I will. Four Dex is just way too questionable. Um, Strength or do I lose the... I might lose the Resist Electric. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need that one in the term. Alright. I reckon this one's the most likely one to lead us somewhere I want to go. Let's go see. Yeah, that looks right. That looks like the skip for level 2 of the term. Because they lead to areas on the term, like, roughly equivalent to where they are on the first level. Goodbye, Menace. Two bells is usually bad, but he didn't turn up there with tons of mummies because he stops you casting spells and stuff when it's silent sometimes. All right, well, uh, do I just go down? No, I buff up before I go down, of course. So I put on the taste, I put on the brilliance, put on the might. All right, the buffs won't last forever. But they're there. Um, I might do a revelation, see where the traps are. Kind of traps on both sides, but.
Oh, well, that's not working. Uh, what I've got to do is a bed of fog. Oh. There we go. There's one so I can see. There we go. See under there, and then when I get teleported, you get teleported to the place I'm trying to go into. <laughs> just exactly what I want. It's just trying to get, like, back to the staircase. Or he's close to the staircase. I should tell him some more magic. I'm probably fine just sitting back, uh, sitting, hiding in this corner, channeling magic as needed. Man, I don't even need to channel it right now. Is it your just tomb layer look like ovaries? It kind of does. I'm not sure what it's meant to look like, but it kind of does. Although you'll find the eggs in these side areas, though. Okay, let's just channel some more magic. You'll find a ziggurat, though, and I should go grab one of those. It's not in this side, is it? Uh... Come on, just channel the magic. Keep that one going. Yeah, this manifold is sold out. There's lots of guys that's really good um, in here. Hey, Khufu. So I must not have seen Khufu early on. If I saw Khufu in here, just imagining Khufu is all over the place by the looks of things. Alright, where's my ziggurat? Which one of these things is a ziggurat? Uh, there it is. I see it at the bottom. I don't think I actually need the regen. No, because I basically just got hells left, and those, those probably don't, like, super benefit from the regen. I'd rather the magic regen, that seems to be doing the trick. There we go, 13 runes! Not quite done, I've still got a couple of hell ones, I'll probably do the fiery hell next. Wherever that one is, that looks like a way down right here. I don't think, I don't think I need to do it apart from just head to hell! Go to hell and, uh, yeah, start the manifold and solve. What's my damage on now? Almost 120. I'll probably get over 120 by, uh, end game with this character. Or by the end of the game. I'm kind of already in the end game. Uh, let's go down. Start the channeling early, of course, because I don't think the channeling quite keeps up with the rate at which I spend my magic points. Alright. I don't fly, which does make it a little bit hard to sometimes get to the walls to dig in, but I'll probably be fine. I think I can swap some in fairly quick with a ring swap. I also standing in the middle of Manifold assaulting everyone's doing the trick. Oh, I guess I'll challenge some more magic. I'm not really getting the creatures to uh, group up very well, but it's fine. Challenging magic is effectively free. <laughs> I'd say this is probably like one of the easier extended I've done in a while. Uh, I mean, there's been a few hours where I was getting, getting a bit nasty, right? Well, that was kind of earlier on before I was uh, with Sif I think. That was like Pandemonium. I had to use a blink, right? Oh, now the mark, who cares? Okay, this is the last level. This one's the one where it'd be less but, uh, good if you got marked. Because this one always has, uh, well, it's always a bit bigger than the other levels. Am I going to get the Surface of Hell? I f it is what? It is a 50% chance, I think, of me getting a Surface of Hell. Because I haven't seen a Surface of Hell yet. Unless I just happen to, like, uh, had the Surface of Hell in an earlier level and missed it. I mean, that's actually a possibility. There's probably less than 50% chance, but it's still a decent chance to get a Surface of Hell, I think. And the fire ones, I never remember that would be too bad. This character could probably take it out, no problems. Well, just bop it over the head with a club until it died. <laughs> I mean, that's what you do, right? Uh... There we go, that's the front door. I think I'll take the front door in. In fact, I don't think you actually get a choice. I think you just have to take the front door in.
There it is, like, treasure and stuff on this level. I do want to buff up before I find the boss if I can. Uh, just, like, get some haste on or something, because I still got tons of those ones left over, I guess. I don't need major bow. That's, uh... Well, that's, uh... That's not, like, spell bad, but it doesn't work for things that are, like, what, resistant to negative or something? I know it doesn't always work, um... Can be quite good, especially if you find it early on. I know I had that on Genie, it was an interesting experience, because you were spending more magic points to cast, but then sometimes you, like, vampire drain magic points, oh, no magic points, health points, back when you hit something with a spell, oh, there's the boss. Alright, well, I should go hide around this corner, take off my form, put on the haste, put on the brilliance, put on the form, and then head back in and hopefully get there before all the buffs wear off. There we go. And I got him slowed as well, which is kind of nice. And he's dead. Excellent. Like, you can't blink in here, so it's nice to be able to kill him. Wait, do these all have limits on them for whatever reason? I shouldn't have limits on these. I should just let them get to where they would get. Yeah, that looks fine with the skills. Uh... Got one more rune, which is the Iron City of Death. That's the one I usually leave to last, because it is uh, definitely nasty. Is it? You're Serapov harder than Asmodeus. I think, yeah, I mean... Hard to answer because you usually find them at different points of the game, but I think you might be right. I mean, Serapov, you often have to do lots of teleporting out, whereas Asmodeus, you can't teleport out if things go wrong. Oh, that's... Right, I do not do well against Iron Golems, as it turns out. I could keep them in a range and just manifold assault them, I guess that might be alright. Also, my armor cost is looking a little sad right now. I think my damage is still like 150 or something, 118. I could probably just magic map out some of these levels to reduce how much time I have to spend in here. Uh, I think all these dudes thrown at me. Alright, there's the staircase. Let's go down again. But no, I say, uh, what is Antaeus' health? Not Antaeus, uh, Asmodeus. 450? I mean, uh, Sarah Buff definitely has more health, right? Sarah Buff has 650 health, so 200 more health than Firestorm, which I don't think Asmodeus does. Asmodeus does have some nasty summoning slow, but yeah. I think it's mainly the the only reason that tells uh kind of tough is that you can't blink out if things go wrong. All right, next level. I will magic map this one. I got four of those or whatever. And the same with this one. I just keep the magic map and going. Uh, I think my health is not too drained or something. Oh, that's uh. Actually, I don't want to fight all those mummies. I can just, like, avoid them. <laughs> sure, well, that works for me. Why well, find something that you don't have to write? Okay, come on. Wait off the draining. I got, like, two points of draining. Well, it's in eight because, uh, 10 because eight's the default in here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to move forwards. Okay, I think this is fine. Don't have to use a blink scroll or anything, but I was getting quite close to needing to use a blink scroll there, I think. How many more levels? So I got level 5, got level 6 and level 7 to go. Let's just go down. Um, this should be quick. Maybe, although I've got to heal up. Oh, there we go. Well, the requirement must be a one to identify a pizza and a free bat simulacrum summon. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a uh, free pizza. <laughs> I'd totally acquire one of those off. <laughs> Not that liches can eat pizzas anymore, but there was a while where liches could eat pizzas. In fact, I have eaten a, a pizza or the lich. What is it? No pizza here? Where is the dream shot? I don't think I can eat that one, though. In fact, I think that was actually a bug, uh, like, uh, that, like, if I go to the GitHub, like, the DCSS one, 
uh, if I can spell. Oh, it didn't auto fill it. I think uh, if we go to like issues, how do I find the ones that are closed as well? How do I actually search these? I guess I'll just look at like the ones by me. That's uh specifically open ones. I'm gonna see if I can find the one about pizzas. Yeah, this one. Legends gonna eat pizzas. <laughs> um yeah, it's got a picture of me eating a magically preserved pepperoni pizza. And I eventually it got fixed. I don't think it took too long to fix the legends eating pizzas, so I just thought that was kinda of funny. Oh, the lich went invisible. I don't even know where it is anymore. Okay, I see exactly where it is now. Oh, the dude's got the spell, so I gotta get rid of it. Uh, the lich is where? There we go. There, I got rid of it. Oh, he ate a pizza. <laughs> yeah, back, back when that was the thing you could do as a lich. <laughs> I've got a lich eating? Wait, what's that little mode? Pizza diving mode? I don't even know the pizza diving mode. There's so many like 70 TV modes, it's kinda of crazy. Hey, this is my last magic mapping. Wait, was I already magic mapped? That don't matter. I just gotta let the auto explorer go where it wants to. Like with the uh, traveling towards the boss. It can pick a path for me. Cause that means on the way back I don't have to worry about like picking a different path. All right. Oh, got to challenge some more magic. At least these eye gobs die like super fast when they're at range instead of being really, really tanky. Hey, this is Servant of Hell. No surprise there though, because uh, I did do all the other hells and not get the Servant of Hell. So I mean, it had to be somewhere, right? I, mean, I guess I uh, technically could have missed it, but it was likely to be somewhere. I need some more magic. I want to get that love trap on a view, though, before something stands on it, because it is right there to be stood on. Where's the... Uh, the way that I think it's up here. Oh, I didn't... I meant to heal up before I went running off. I need to challenge some more magic, that's all always fine. In fact, I actually have lost like a little bit of my party because I was like maxed out of my party. Well, it's because you get to max out with some of five bits of party. Because <laughs> like gifts of course take party, so you never quite max it out. But I'm down to what four now, which is fine. It's still enough where I can like do all the abilities I need to do. I think I can still divide X and G in this too if I wanted to, like if I want to chatter into here or something. Um, nah, I don't think I need to. I think I just buff up and fight the boss normally. I do have like a phantom mirror as well that I can throw on this boss because he's a pretty good one to throw it on. Um, because he uh doesn't do like big A we spells that your summon can get you with because that can be a problem with some of them. All right, so I haste up, which should make this easy. I guess I'll pop a brilliance as well. Sure, I'll uh, throw in the Phantom Mirror. He can send the Phantom Mirror home, but it still uh, distracts him for a while. Yeah, no problems. I don't need his orb because unfortunately I'm uh, using a two added weapon. Well, I'm actually kind of fortunate when it comes to Mana Fall of Soul because I get to do a chunk of damage. Is that all my runes? I believe it is. Let's just get out of here. Go get. Uh, I don't think I finished top five, so I still got that to do. Uh, I was scared to say it was like an interesting mix of like strength and then in fact it is still my highest for some reason. Also, oh, I need to decide on a god, don't I? I need to let me go look at gods. Um, <sighs> Cursed is an Ashen Zari one. Let me go see if I've had that one. Uh, no games for cursed. Okay, 
Well, that could be done. I mean, banning Sif Man is hard, but not, uh, not Sif Man. Banning uh, Manchester Zari is hard, but joining them on an arm run doesn't sound too bad. Alright, where are we going? I can mean, this side's pretty obvious. I can chatter it as well, but I don't think I need to. Party doesn't really matter, just as long as I got enough to channel magic here. Oh, I'm taking a little bit of damage. Did I take off the resist electric? That's probably why I took some from like the electric dragon. Makes sense. The over fire got 100. Oh, the over fire died so quick when I got 100% chance to head it. That's ridiculous. Um, I can just manifold assault this one as well. Come on. Uh, maybe it's not dying quite as quick as I thought it would, but it still died pretty quick and it can't melt mutate me. Thanks to my form. And I still got plenty of blinking for the old run. In fact, way too many. I, I use like one or two in the extended. I don't think it was much. I mean, if you think about it, this character's basically doing perfect stuff for Manifold Soul. Like, they've got a heavy two handed weapon. They've, uh. uh they're not quite perfect because they're using heavy armor, but still. It's also a giant spike club, which is like the ideal weapon in terms of doing like high damage numbers. Uh, am I still chatting like I am? I'm just gonna step back a little bit. I'm not a ghost moth. Man, I don't think it's always gonna be a pain. I'm just gonna. I'm never gonna get the magic points, am I? <laughs> oh, maybe I am. Ghost moth should still be alive because, like, I don't think I can easily kill it. Uh, that's probably it. I can throw a rocket and I suppose I got like uh, 140 of those rocks that I can throw. Uh, there we go. I mean, I did. Oh, another one. I did start as like a rock throw with this character because, uh, yeah, I did like basically the whole vault throwing rocks. I can get out of here if I want, right? Uh, I'll finish off the cloud, I guess. You know, I'm actually kind of tempted to just uh, completely finish off this level just so that, um, well, almost completely. Just so I can like teleport out and stuff and don't need to worry about getting put on lugs and that sort of thing. There we go, I'm all good to grab the rune. Alright, so I need to go to a, uh, what was it? It was an Ashen Zari altar, I think, is what I determined. Time to level 8, alright. I wonder how many times I've banned Sif Mana, like, on the orb run. I wonder if there's a, there's probably a command you can do to figure out what gods you've abandoned literally on the old run. Oh hey, it's a pandemonium lord, I've fought plenty of these. It's got plasma beam. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. Goodbye, pandemonium lord. Although, what I should do is I should put the resist electric on instead of the dex. Just make sure my resists are all good, just in case an orb, uh, the guy comes along with like a... What was it? Something to electric you me. Um, what is it called? Chain lightning? Alright, let's do this. Am I cursed? Uh, apparently did that wrong. Really bad? And yes. There we go. I am star cursed? Now I'm cursed. Okay then. That's right, because the uh, piety, uh, weirdly your god changes and then your piety changes. So you get, get a weird title in there for a little while. Weird, for like high piety or something. A haste, bombard. I don't think that's too bad. Can't tell the magic anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm pretty close to the top of the dungeon. I've got, um, ooh, got blinks. I might actually just, uh, blink this one because there's, uh, there's another guy with it. There's a whole guy that could get me with this spell dead. <laughs> All right, uh, there we go. At the dungeon exit. Alright, well, I'm at the exit. I think it's just time to get out of here. I'm, in fact, cursed, which I have been for, which is excellent. That was a 15 rune run. That was a lot of fun. No, I mean, that gold dragon I only found, like, in a shop, I managed to get by, what was that, the end of last, on Volkish Mines kind of point. 
It was really good. The Heavy Giants Fight Club was great. I did push Manifold Assault really early, but just because it was fun. Not because it was optimal. Death Form was good. I found it got multiple Death Forms this time around, which is crazy. Still plenty of, like, Blinky left. Plenty of Teleports. I was not short of items. My old Mirror and Gravitamarine and stuff. I didn't use those as much as I maybe could have, but those Gravitamarine was good. Alright, well, that's that character done. That was a pretty quick run. In under four hours for a 15 room game means it's going really well. Um, <laughs> and it was kind of the opposite of Curse, that run. Alright, well, I should probably finish up around now.